How y'all doing? We should be back, maybe? Hello, sorry about that. The stream cut out. Um, uh, because we had to, uh, restart real quick because of stupid mic issues. Hopefully they're not, uh, the mic's not borked anymore. Um, anyway... How are you all doing? What is the, there? Are bitsing happening? There's a lot of bitsing happening right now in the chat between the uh, between the break here. How you doing? We're back. We back. Hopefully the mic is not cutting out now. Um, thank you for the bits, everybody. By the way, uh, Keon Knoxville, double uh, O four Titan. Uh, uh, you you three four peeps. Thank you so much for the bits. Oh my goodness! Holy crap! Um, uh, everybody, thank you for the bits. Chaos, Keon, or Ka Ka Chaos, thank you for 8 bits, 9 bits, Keon, 10 bits, Keon, Chaos, 12 bits, Keon, 81 bits, Chaos, 82 bits, Titan, 500 bits, Knoxville, 10 bits. The itsy bitsy Spydale was afraid of Spydales. Anyway, hi, I'm Dan. Um, he was number one. Uh, I don't get, get a badge. What happened? Oh, wait, there it is. There you go. It's adding up. I, I can't see it right now on my thing, I don't think. No, I can't see it on there. Oh, man. You don't have that many bits, sad bit. Oh, I'm sorry. Y'all are just bitsing like crazy. I'm trying to start this stream. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. <sighs> Dang it. What is happening right now? What is happening even? Uh, Knoxville, thank you for the 10 bits. Nurse Payne, thank you for the 5 hee-haw bits. Hee-haw, Sam. How are you? Um... And Chaos, thank you for the bit. And Keon, my goodness, thank you for the 500 Kappa bits. All right, y'all, just just calm with your bits just for about two seconds. <laughs> calm your bits. <laughs> All right, we're going to be playing. Hopefully, my kiss isn't cutting out. Um, we're going to be playing some Doki Doki Literature Club. We're, we're wrapping that up today. Um, I'm ready to roll right into it. If y'all are, um, sorry for the, the stream borking a little bit. Um, it hasn't been doing that, but... Hopefully it doesn't, like, kind of start back up into this trend. It's been fine recently. Mac is fine? Good. Alright, so. Let me do this. Just for the future. Alright. Doki Doki Literature Club. We started this a couple days ago. On Saturday, I believe? So... If you missed me starting this, we played about seven hours. What did we play? Like six hours or so of the actual game. And I got pretty damn far. I'm amazed I haven't finished it. Because I think like even leisurely playthroughs, I was looking on how long to beat. Even leisure playthroughs are like six hours long. So I don't know what's taking me so long finishing this. Um, but some weird shit has happened. Um, if you haven't seen Buddy, I'm sorry, not right now. I love you. Oh my gosh, kitty. No, not right now. Shoot. Go lay down. There's a bed right there. There's a bed right there. I love you so much. Um, the kitties. The kitties, they want attention. I want to give them attention. Um, it takes longer when you're reading out loud probs. Yeah, but I mean, don't people play this usually and it doesn't take this long? I don't know. Hi, I'm Dan. Um, but yeah, okay, so weird shit's been happening. Um, Sayori committed suicide. Uh, after feeling really shitty, and then, uh, uh, now the club is existing with, it's like, it's, everything's reset, and now it's as if she never existed, but there's a picture of her hanging in the background. It's really, I don't know what's happening. Um, it's really glitchy and weird, and I don't know where it's going from here. Um, I've been told that I maybe have, like, a couple hours left, or an hour left, or I don't even fucking know, so, you know. Um... Yeah, so I'm going to be a little less, like, super on top of the chat at points. Oh, um, my goodness. Um, Titan, thank you for the 30 bits. Knoxville, thank you for the 8 bits. Titan, thank you for the 53 bits. You'll secure your second place. There you go. Um, <laughs> and Chaos, thank you for the 1 bit. Round number bit. Gotcha. You gotta, you gotta round it off. Anyway, um... And Buzz, it's nice seeing y'all, by the way. Uh, Mordorio's cha Chaos, I almost said Chaos. Chaos Knight. Um, Chaos Knight. Um, Buzz, uh, to the 88. How you doing? Mordorio's Titan. Um, coming up, Laurel, how you doing? You Mage, Kaz. 
Tropical Bears. It's nice seeing y'all. Bled. Love y'all, love y'all. Knoxville, of course. One Trick Gaming. Y'all are the best. Thank you for coming out tonight. Um, I appreciate seeing ya. Um, and I appreciate you being here. Um, so yes. That's all we got going on. We're doing that. We're loading our game. All my save states went away. So they're not even there anymore. I had like three pages of saves. As if that mattered at all. I thought we were gonna have to load sh load shit because it said load me in what's her name's poem that one time. So I thought at some point I was gonna have to like save and load or something. I don't even know. But there aren't a lot of like options or choices. There's only a, you know a couple. Um, I'm doing good one trick gaming. Hope you're doing well. Chaos, thank you for the bits. My goodness, y'all are a bit crazy tonight. All right. So without further ado, I should stop talking and we should just play Doki Doki. That sound good? That sound good? All right. Let's pick it up. Oh, okay. So I need to remember all the voices now, um, which I think I do. Uh, where's my water? Did I leave it on the counter? Well, I still have my tea at the very least, but that's not going to help with the lubricating of my voice so much. No. Yes, this game is not all right if you get easily depressed and stuff. I hear that. I was pretty wrecked. I would say I was a little wrecked the day after I woke up. Um, not, I don't know if it was from this game. I don't think it was from this game, but I was a little just feeling shitty. Um, but that's not like, but yeah, in general. Oh, the, wait, the picture of her hanging hanger herself is gone in the background now. And that like where that where right here, there was a, a picture of her hanging herself, which I didn't notice for the longest time. And people were like, he just noticed in the chat when I finally did. Um, King Pandeno, how you doing? Or Pandino? Probably it's probably Pandino, right? Hope you're doing well. Uh, hope hopefully your land is all uh, well ruled over currently, since you're a king and all that jazz. Um, yeah. Okay. So. I'm not going to be keeping a, a, a super watch fly in the chat just for in case for spoilers. And I would do the same as well if you haven't seen this and you don't want to be spoiled. Um, uh, otherwise, just sit back, chillax. Let's play some games, have some fun. Um, and yeah, y'all are the best. Thank you for coming out. Um, Natsuki, it was very deep. No, no, no. I, oh, I know the voices. I know the voices. Um, Daniel-san was like this. And Natsuki was like this. Uh, Natsuki, Natsuki. Yeah, there we go. Um, <laughs> Yuri was like this. And, and, uh, uh, whatever her name sounds like, Monica. Monica sounds like this. And Sayori sounds like this, but Sayori killed herself, so, mm. All right, here we go. I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? No, no. Natsuki versus her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Uh, not very confident. Oh, <laughs> and then I do this bunch where I'll read their voices in the wrong thing, and that, that'll that probably add time, too. All right. Ah, not a very confident writer yet. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities, and showing even the deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have the writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe if you share some of your work, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. Uh, I guess that's the same for Yuri. We all sit in silence for a moment. Hey, I just got an idea. How about this? Uh, uh, um, uh, uh. uh, Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically, quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. The next time we meet, we'll share all of the uh, share uh, all share them with each other. That way, everyone's even. Uh, um. Uh, uh, I mean, I thought it was a good idea. Well, I think you're right, Monica. We should probably start finding activities. For all of us to participate in together. I did decide to take uh, on the responsibility of vice president after all. Oh, time has changed. It's weird. I need to do my best to nurture the club as well as its members. Besides, now that we have a new member, it seems like a good step for us to take. Do you agree as well, Daniel-san? Hold on, there's still one problem. Hey, what's that? Now that we've reached the most important topic, I bluntly come forth with what, what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Yeah, this is sounding a lot like it did before. Um, a lot of it's pretty repetitive. Uh, 
Monica may have convinced me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and, um... I lose my train of thought. You're... Wait, but didn't you like the... You're in a club with hot chicks? All three girls stare back at me with dejected eyes. But... But... I'm sorry, I, I thought... Hmm. Eh? The, the the girls exchange glasses and glances. They exchange glasses. They just take off their glasses and then just exchange. All right, uh, glances before Monica turns back to me. I, I I guess I need to tell you the truth, Daniel Son. The thing is, we don't have enough members yet to form an official club. Oh, they need four. Ah, and I've been trying really really hard to find new members. And if we don't find one more before the festival... Huh? I, I, I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to uh, make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? Uh, not like this. Not like this. It's from The Matrix, but there's also not like this bits that always remind me of that. I, I, I do. Dan does like his standees. I do like standees. What do you want me to get a say? Or you standee? What's happening here? I feel like we're all playing a person who is talking to his cardboard cutouts of anime girls. Oh my god. Uh, hey, I've had some conversations with Batman. I don't know if I still have my Batman one, uh, from the office. I think it's packed away somewhere. I don't think I trashed it when I moved. I don't know. I called him Armenian Batman, because he, he looked, he looked a little... You mean this? Yes, they're not like this bits. Sayori is uh, the one hanging out at home. Oh, come on. Okay. Um, I would feel terrible for letting everyone down in this situation. And besides, the club itself uh, seems pretty relaxed. Yeah, right. So if writing poems is the price I uh, need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Um, okay, I've decided then. I'll join the literature club. The Doki Doki Literature Club. <laughs> Why is this taking me so long? Also, Dan. Here's my, my, I wasn't saying, why is this taking me so long? I was saying, it is taking me so long. I'm just surprised. Because um, at first, I was trying to go through fast. Um, hi, I'm Dan. Let's play. <laughs> one by one, the girl's eyes light up. Oh my goodness, really? Do you really mean that, daniel son? Yeah, I do. It could be fun, right? You really did scare me for a moment. I, m I mean... Uh, if you really just left after all this, I would be uh, super pissed. I think it's surprised. Super pissed. Daniel, son, I'm so happy. We can become an official club now. Thank you so much for this. You're really amazing. I'll do everything I can to give you a great time, okay? Ah, uh, thanks, I guess. Okay, everyone. I think with that, we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring uh, to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over once more at me, or me at once more. Uh, uh, Daniel-san, I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> but sticking out. Y yes. Uh, can I really impress the class star Monica? The class star Monica with my mediocre writing skills? Shouldn't there be punctuation there? Um, I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri cleans up the tea set. I guess I'll be on my way then. Okay, butt sticking out. I'll see you tomorrow then. I can't wait. Jesus Christ. Uh, with that, I depart the club room and make my way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between all the, the, the three girls. Natsuki, Yuri, and of course, Monica. Um, will I be, uh, really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. All right. I'll just need to make the most of my circumstances, and I'm, uh, sure good fortune will find me. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Oh, gosh. Our first writing instance here. Is it going to be really fucked up? You have unlocked a special poem? Oh, would you like to read it? Oh, no. Oh, no. I mean, why wouldn't I? Oh! What a great poem. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Why is it just the two of them? Why can't I make Monica happy with my drawings? <sighs> Here, let's go really happy with this. You know what? Let's forget Yuri. 
Yuri was a little weird. Maybe we should go for Natsuki this time around and be like, Natsuki will like things. What if I did like, oh, there was once a cute little extraordinary love pleasure rain cloud. And when that love pleasure rain cloud came around, it caused a marshmallow after image that when exposed to sugar and death, it, uh, it caused everyone to twirl. It's very happy. It likes it. Um, uh, all of this twirling then made a portrait of a parfait begin to flower into fun, excitement, unending color, sticky lollipops. And from that moment on, I knew that we were all... Jump. Oh, what the fuck? Stop it. Just stop it. Is Sayori gonna haunt me? What's happening? I don't even know. God damn it. I got Daniel Son! Glad to see you didn't run away on us! Oh. Now, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I keep my word. I at least keep my word. Um, uh, well, I'm back at the literature club. I was uh, the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Uh, uh, thanks for keeping your promise, Daniel Son. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not even accustomed to it. Ah, uh, why is glitchy shit happening? Oh, come on, like he deserves any slack. You already had to be dragged here by Monica. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of, uh, see the end of it. Oh, God damn it! don't block the thing, Monica. Natsuki! Uh-huh. God damn it. Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and Manga. Manga's literature! Uh, Swift defeated Natsuki, plops, blah, 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 blah. I'm sorry, Daniel-san. Make sure to put your comfort first, okay? Oh, uh, the music's getting weird. There aren't any pictures of hanging people, right? Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Um, uh, Yuri shoots Natsuki with a disappointing gla uh, glance. Um, anyway, now that you're in the club and all, perhaps you might have interest in picking up a book to read? Well, I can't really say no either way. Like you said, I'm in this club now, so it only feels right for me to do something like that, if you ask. What? Wait, I didn't mean it like that. Ooh. If you don't really want to, then forget I said anything, I guess. Oh, no, no, it's not that, Yuri. I, I want to be part of this club, so even if I don't read often, I'd be happy to pick up a book if you wanted me to. Uh, are you sure? I just felt like, well, as vice president and all, that I should help you uh, get started on something that you might like. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read, so if you could keep your, it could keep, it should keep your, it, it's gonna keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. This is, how is this girl accidentally being so cute? Uh, she even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I hate Yuri in this run. No, she's doing the exact same things, but I don't. I'm going for Natsuki this time, goddammit. Um, I enthusiastically take the book here. I'm just going to save just since I have it in a million years. All right. Uh, I enthusiast enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expect Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the club. Um, but that doesn't seem to be the case. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Uh, uh. I hear Natsuki's utter, uh, utter ex exasperated uh, sigh from within the closet. She seems to be annoyed by something. 
I approach her in case she needs a hand. You looking for uh, you looking for something in there? Oh god damn it! Fucking money! She never puts my stuff back in the right spot. What's the point if I uh, in keeping your collection organized if someone else is just gonna mess it up? Natsuki Sai uh, slides a bunch of stacked books and boxes across the shelf. Manga? You read manga, right? Um, sometimes. Manga is one of those things where you, can, you can't you can admit you're really into it until you figure out where the other person stands. What? Uh, how did you know, anyway? I heard you bring it up at some point, which I did. Um, besides, it's kind of written on your face. It says, man. Guh. Just right on your forehead. Some bullshit. Uh, what's that supposed to mean? I... I see! Uh, there's a lone volume of manga amidst a stack of various books on the side of one of the shelves. I'm curious, I pull it out of the stack. There it is! Uh, Natsuki, uh, snatches it out of my hand. She then turns, uh, to a box of manga and slips the volume right into the middle of the rest. da da da, -da. This music is so Zelda-y. Um, ah, much better! Uh, seeing a box set with one book missing is probably the most irritating sight in the world. I know how that feel. <laughs> I read that really stupidly. Uh, I get closer, uh, look, uh, get a closer look at the box set she's admiring. I can read, y'all. I learned how to read when I was a child, and I've never forgotten since. Parfait girls? Wait, parfait! Wait, 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 I used parfait in my poem. Parfait girls? It's a series I've never heard of in my life. Uh, that probably means it's either way out of my demographic or it's simply terrible. Oh, wow, what a great... He has the best taste ever, daniel son. Um, if you're gonna judge, you can go do it through the glass on that door. Uh, she points to the classroom door. Hey, hey, I wasn't judging anything. I didn't even say anything, but I thought about it out loud. It was the tone of your voice, but I'll tell you one thing, Daniel-san. Consider this a lesson. Oh, God damn it! Don't judge a book. In fact, Natsuki pulls out the first volume of Parfait Girls from the box. I'm gonna show you exactly why. Shoves a book right into my hands. Um, I stare at the cover. It features four girls in a colorful, uh, uh, in colorful attire, striking animated feminine poses. It's exceedingly mo, whatever that means. I don't know what that means. Um, don't just stand there. Ah, why? Natsuki grabs my arm and pulls me out of the closet. She then takes a seat um, against the wall beneath the window sills. She pats on the ground next to her, signaling me to sit there. Aw. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? I take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. We can't read at the same time like that. Eh, hey, why's that? Uh, uh, I guess it's easier to be close like, uh, together like this. Um, actually trying to pronounce uh, the random shit. What am I? Sure. <laughs> what was I doing? <laughs> Chaos. Was it the mo? Is it? Is it not mo? Is it like moe? Did I say something stupid? What's happening? Oh, it's Mao. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> I don't know things. It's spelled mo. Okay. It was like mo sizlak from The Simpsons. All right, we're like seven hours in, MXG. I know it even shouldn't be that long. Um, D don't just say that. You'll make me feel weird about it. Natsuki uh, crosses her arms and scooches an inch away from me. Sorry. I didn't exactly expect to be sitting this close to her either. Not that I can say it's particularly a bad thing. Um, I open the book. Uh, it's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again inches closer, reclaiming the additional space while she hopes uh, I won't notice. Um, was this something that I could have unlocked had my poem been a little less Yuri-centric? Because this time around, I'm actually spending time with Natsuki, and I never did that the first time around. Uh, that could be a different thing, but if this is one of the repeat things, then um, this is all new. Um, uh, it's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again inches closer, reclaiming the additional space uh, while she hopes I won't notice. Um, I can feel her appearing over my shoulder, much more eager uh, to begin reading than I am. Wow, uh, how long has it been since I read the beginning? Hmm? You don't, uh, oh, goddammit, uh, you don't go back and flip through the older volumes every now and then? Not really. Maybe sometimes after I've already finished the series. Hey, are you paying attention? Um, uh, 
Uh, I am, but nothing's really happened yet, so I can't talk at the same time. Or, so I can talk at the same time. Uh, it looks like it's about a bunch of friends in high school. Typical slice of life affair. I kind of grew out of these, since it's rare for the writing to be entertaining uh, enough to make up for the lack of plot. Well, I mean, oh, look at that cute little angle. Um, are you sure this isn't boring for you? It's not. Even though you're just watching me read? Well, I'm fine with that. If you say so. Is Bat Dan's on uh, vacation again? He absolutely is. Hold on one second. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't relaunch it when I was making sure that the um, mic wasn't cutting out. Apologies. There we go. Sorry, the... <gasps> Joe's gonna reset and everything. Sorry about that, y'all, but Bad Dance Bot is back. And I'm stretching. I literally woke up, rolled out of bed, started prepping for the stream. <laughs> so, you know, I'm a little, I need to stretch. All right, Bad Dance Bot is loading. He's loading up. You're gonna be the bot, but it's pain in the ass. I got you, well worn condom, no worries. No worries. All right, let me make sure this is all good. Nice. Okay. The bot is back, y'all. Thank you for that reminder. Sorry about that. There's probably a couple other things I should launch here, too. Hope you all are enjoying. Uh, the goals aren't written out yet fully, but the, uh, the obviously the bar is going, though. So, uh, the first goal is 250, and we don't, I don't have a, uh, thing for it yet, but, uh, it's going, uh, 250, 500, uh, 750, uh, 1,000, and then there's a few, like, there's, there's one extra goal, um, this month as well. So, you yeah, know, there's lots of things. There's lots of things in between, um, and I'll get it all written out and ready for the next one. Sorry, again, I meant to be up before, you know, when I was supposed to stream which hasn't been happening recently because I've been working on um, Flapatron a little bit, uh, stuff a little bit recently. Well, a bunch recently, so, uh, yeah. Hi, I'm Dan. All right, uh, I guess it's fun sharing. I guess it's fun sharing something like uh, you like with someone else. Uh, I always get excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. I always try to do that, but nobody ever does. Um, you know what I mean? Uh, hmm? You don't? Um, that's not, well, I would really know. What do you mean? Don't you share your manga with your friends? Could you not rub it in? Oh, she doesn't have friends. Jeez. Ah, sorry. Hmm. Like I could ever get my friends to read this. They just think the manga is for kids. I can't even bring it up with them like being all like, Hey, you still haven't grown out of that yet? Makes me want to punch him in the face. Oh my goodness, MXGE live! Thank you for the thousand bits! Would be wrong for me not to, uh, to not donate during one of my favorite games. I'm also very drunk, have money. <laughs> Thank you so much, MXG. Please be safe, drink plenty of water. We love you. Thank you for the support, and, uh, hope you're having fun. Alright. <clears throat> Thank you so much for the thousand bits. My goodness. <clears throat> that is very, very sweet of you. Um, uh, uh, I know those kind of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who won't, who don't judge, much less friends who are also into it. I'm already a kind of a loser, so I guess I gravitated toward the other losers over time. But it's probably harder for someone like you, you know, a fresh loser. Hmm? Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? <laughs> which part? Thank you for bacon. Good morning. Hope you're doing well. Thank you for the 30 bittos and for burying Bane, that son of a bitch. I'm sorry. I'm just... Whew. Bane, Bane. Just don't even get me started about Bane today. All right. Wait, which part? Um, I mean, I feel like I can't even uh, keep it in my own room. My dad would beat the shit out of me if, I f if he found this. What the fuck? Jesus. What's happening? Just Peachy. Eight months. Phew, eight months. Thank you so much for the eight months in a row, Just Peachy. My God. We have a lot of eight month people rolling around today. Thank you all so much. Wait, eight months. How long ago would that have been? Three now, then five before. So this would have been around. That would have been around. Hi, I'm Dan. Five, wait, so it'd be, it'd be July. So it was right around the hub ended when you subscribed. Thank you so much, Just Peachy. I appreciate the support. There's a lot of eight month people, so that makes sense. Um, 
recently. I was wondering, like, what's the what's the anniversary here? But it was after the hub ended. Well, I appreciate all the support, y'all. Um, the fact that it's been eight months. Holy crap, it's been eight months? Holy shit. That is ridiculous. All right, so let's continue on with Natsuki. Um, thank you so much again, Just Peachy, for, for being so uh, supportive and for hanging out in the Batcave. You're awesome. All you Robins are awesome, and all y'all people in the chat right now are awesome. Y'all are the best. All right. Um, At least it's safe here in the club room. Holy shit, MXG. Uh, here, have more money. My goodness, thank you so much. I like money. It helps me live and eat food and get Starbucks <laughs> and and live and have a, a roof over my head. That's a, it's a very nice thing. Thank you so much, uh, MXG Live, for the 565 bits. My goodness. Um, Sip Monica's kind of a jerk about it. Ugh, I just can't win, can I? Well, I, it paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, here I am reading it. Well, it's not like that solves any of my problems. Maybe. But at least you're enjoying yourself, right? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So? <laughs> geez, that's enough. Oh, geez, that's enough. Are you gonna keep reading or what? Yeah, yeah. I flipped the page. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, uh, no. 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 Uh, time passes. Okay. Natsuki is strangely quiet. Strangely quiet now. I don't like long, dark screens here. I glance over at her. What's your Starbucks order? Oh, hmm. Uh, pfft. I usually get a white chocolate mocha. Um, uh, and they have that their new southwestern chicken sausage sandwich with bacon. It's pretty good. Aiken for bacon, thank you for the 45 bit. I was my goodness, you're making sure <laughs> Barry, Barry, you're making sure Bane's Barry. Um, yeah, that's generally it. Liz usually gets either uh, uh, what peppermint mocha or a peach green tea lemonade with sweetener. It's delicious. All right. I glance over at her. Oh, she fell asleep. It looks like she started to fall asleep. Hey, Natsuki. Yeah. Yeah. Or no, she wakes up and she says like, yeah. yeah. Suddenly, Natsuki collapses straight into me. Hey. hey. Oh, no. Oh, 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 please, please, no. No. Uh. Yo, jeez. Oh, jeez. Natsuki, are you okay? Uh. Uh. Here. Aka reaches into her bag, pulls out some kind of protein bar. She throws it in Natsuki's direction. Natsuki's eyes <laughs> suddenly light up again. She snatches the bar from the floor and immediately tears off the wrapper. I told you not to get. <laughs> she doesn't even finish her sentence before stuffing it in her mouth. Don't worry, Daniel-san. She's fine. It just happens every now and then. That's why I always keep a snack in my bag for her. Anyway, bot sticking out. Why don't we all share our poems now? Ah, oh, this isn't going to be good. No, 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 no. This is going to be so bad. I am not. Ugh. Uh, let's talk to Natsuki. Natsuki, you're okay. I told Natsuki I was interested in her poems yesterday. It probably is only fair if I shared mine with her first. <sighs> There's only one protein you enjoy. Protein. Natsuki has such a nice woman's voice. Uh, hello! God damn it. Uh, ah. Okay, well... Let's start with the things I don't like. First of all, um... Ah? Huh? Natsuki rereads my poem. Never mind, I, I don't feel like giving you my opinion. Hey, well, well, what's the point of sharing in the first place? I wrote this when I could have been doing other things. Ooh. In fact, I remember how I said I wanted to read... Uh, how, remember how I said I wanted to read your poems? That's what I had in mind when writing this. I wanted to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours. Like Monica said. Ooh. Well, I, 
would be more comfortable sharing my poem if yours was really bad. You were supposed to show me some dumb poem and make me go, huh, well, it's not that great, but let me show you what a real literature looks like. Hey, that's what she said the first time around. Um, and then you went and ruined it. I hope you're happy. Huh? So, in other words, you're saying you liked it? Urk. <laughs> Natsuki's retort gets caught in her throat. Ooh, you're so... You just... You don't understand anything, do you? I already told you that. You don't have to go announcing it to the world like you're all self-important. Pretty sure I never said it like that. How did the farmer mend his pants? With cabbage patches. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> Mordor used to be the best. Um, uh, pretty sure you never actually said that. Um, I say that mostly to myself. Uh, Natsuki re must really hate me or something. I can't figure out uh, if it's a win or a loss that she likes my poem. In any case, you still need to show me yours, right? Grr, fine, I guess. Only because Monica won't ma uh, will make me if you if I don't. Oh God damn it. Eagles can fly, monkeys can climb, crickets can leap, horses can race, owls can seek, cheetahs can run, eagles can fly, people can try, but that's about it. It's the same exact poem. No different. Hasn't changed. No difference whatsoever. Not seeing pictures of anybody hung in the background. Everything's normal right now. This could be okay. Yeah, told you that you weren't going to like it. I like it. What? Just be honest now. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because... Everyone in high school thinks uh, that writing has to be all sophisticated and stuff, so people don't uh, even take my writing seriously. But isn't that the point? Or, but isn't that the point of poems? People express ourselves. Yeah, there's a lot of repetitive stuff in here. I'm just rereading it because I don't think I had a voice for them at the time when I did the first poems. Um, I think I wasn't doing the voices at least. Um, your writing style wouldn't make your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. Uh, I like when it's easy to read, but it hits you hard, like in this poem. See, uh, seeing everyone around you do great things can be really disheartening, so I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like, I set up for a rhyme at the end, but then I made it fall flat on purpose. It, le uh, it helps bring out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into, into it than I realized. That's what it means to be a pro, baby. Uh, I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect that from the youngest one here, did you? Yeah, I guess not. I, I decide to humor her with that last comment. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't take that away from her. All right. Uh, let's do Yuri's next. <sighs> Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes, more than enough time for her to finish reading. Um... Oh, sorry. I forgot to start speaking. Um, it's fine. Don't force yourself. I'm not. I never do. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Uh, yeah. Why do you ask? Uh... I'm just making sure. I guess that it might, uh, might be after reading through it. Ah, so it's that bad? Oh, no! Uh, did I just raise my voice? Um, I'm so sorry. Yuri buries her face in her hands. I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes and we really haven't gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine, I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right, um... It's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers, and I have been through that myself. I kind of learned to pick up on them, and I think the most notable thing I recognize is in, in new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. <coughs> in other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matter, and they form-fitted the two together. The end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri uh, finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, it's not something that you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing, even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, um, but getting the, them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. 
I also hope that everyone in the class uh, club gives you a valuable feedback. A valuable feedback? Sure. Um, Natsuki could be a little bit biased, though. Biased? How? Uh, um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about other people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Um, do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Um, Yuri smiles dreamily as if that's a rare opportunity for her. Oh my goodness, MXG! E! Live! My goodness, they for the 2,000 bits! Holy crap! Playing Diablo while hammered is hard. Getting uh, the next bit badge is not. <laughs> Thanks for being such a cool guy and for making my childhood fun. My goodness, OXG. That's very, very sweet of you. Um, which, well, which Diablo are you playing? Diablo 3, I'd imagine? Probably a Diablo 3. I love Diablo 2. Diablo 2 is my favorite of those. Um, I need to play that on stream one day and be terrible, and y'all can laugh at me, and it'll be fun. Because um, I haven't played it since I was a child. Diablo 3, of course, I gotcha. Diablo 2 is the best, though. Oh, I'm sorry. I haven't played Diablo 3. Maybe I should play Diablo 3 at some point. Um, I loved Diablo 2 back in the day. Um, there's a new season of Diablo 3. I don't know what that means. Do they release content? Do they just keep releasing content? Is that what that is? Is it content releasing? Are they releasing content? Hi, I'm Dan. All right. Um, Yuri smiles dreamingly as if that's a rare opportunity for her, which is, uh, which itself is kind of funny. Hey, kind of funny. Um, after all, this isn't, uh, isn't this supposed to be literature club? Is it the same one? Yeah, it's the same one. It's the same one. Same poem. It's no different. Ghosts under the light. Tendrils of my hair illuminate behind the amber glow or beneath the amber glow. Bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining street light. To have withstood the test of time, the last to be re uh, yet to be replaced by the seeking blue-green hue of the future. I bathe, calm, uh, breathing air of the present, but living in the past. Light flickers, I flicker back. That's the same one. No difference. All right. <sighs> Just balances and new rewards. I gotcha. <clears throat> The anime cutscenes are super good. I need to check that out at some point. Definitely got to do that at some point. All right. Uh, 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 I'm so sorry. I have such terrible handwriting. What? I wasn't thinking that at all. But it took you some a long time to read. Ah, uh, well, I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Eh? That's a relief. I also like the poem. Even though it's short, uh, even even thoughing it's short, even though it's short, it's really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really, I'm really glad you liked it. I didn't think you'd like it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild, something easy to digest, I suppose. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? Who, who, who? Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, daniel son. Really? I must have totally missed that point. Uh, well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. She said the same exact thing last time. She's like, you took a million years to read it, and then she's like, but you glanced over it. Um, but remember that poems often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story, paint a picture. In this case, a uh, capes case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost, lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, comfort, unable to let go of the past. Oh no, is this about Sayori? I hope this isn't about Sayori. And soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn, putting it that way. I hadn't even thought of that. That's impressive. Is it about Sayori? Is the poem about Sayori? Nothing, really. Well, makes me happy that you think that. Just remember that it won't be long before we pick up on these things, too. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. I'm counting on you. Ay, ay, ay. Thank you for bacon. Thank you for the berry bean bits. All right, Monica's turn. Oh, this is going to get glitchy. Hi, Daniel-san. Having a good time so far? Ah, uh, yeah. Good. Glad to hear it. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever uh, have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? All right, I'll keep that in mind. Of course, I'll be afraid to bring things up. <laughs> what? I'm much better off uh, just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyway, want to share your poem with me? 
It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Ha 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 ha! Don't worry, Daniel-san. We're all a little embarrassed today, you know. But it's that, it's that sort of barrier we'll have to learn to get back to a past suit. Yeah, that's true. We've already gone through all this stuff. I hate my own my poem. Mm-hmm. I like it, Daniel-san. Really? It's a lot... Uh. Cuter than I expected. Sorry, I had Chipotle. <laughs> I didn't have Chipotle, but I'm glad Monica did. Um, ah! Oh, jeez. No, no. It kind of makes uh, me think of something that Suki would write. And she's a good writer, too. So take that as a compliment, butt sticking out. Ahaha! Ah, your butt sticking out. Uh, if you say so. Yep. If you're interested in Natsuki, then always keep a snack on you. <laughs> She'll cling to you like a puppy. Ah! Natsuki's dad doesn't you know, give her lunch money or leave her any food in the house, so she's in a fussy mood pretty often. Wait, what? Wait, 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 what? Her father tortures her by starving her? But sometimes she just loses all of her strength and shuts down. Like earlier. Her family isn't feeding her? What the hell? What? What? I don't even... That's disgusting. This is just a guess, but I think she's so small because her malnutrition is interfering with her adolescent growth. But hey, some guys are into petite girls too, you know? That's so fucked up. That is so fucked up! Sorry, just trying to look at the bright side! Anyway, do you want me to read your poem now? Don't worry, I'm not very good. At reading? You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to not be very good. Well, that's because I have to sound confident. Why is she so calm? Why is he so calm about this? I don't know. That doesn't mean I always feel the same- or feel that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Wait, this is, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> hole in the wall, hole in wall, wait, 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 did, did, is this the same one? I don't think this is the same one I read before. Hole in wall, because he wasn't, er, but he wasn't looking at me. Confused, I frantically glance at my surroundings, but my burned eyes can no longer see color. Are there others in this room? Are they talking? Or are they simply poems on flat sheets of paper? The sound of frantic scrawling playing tricks on my ears. The room begins to crinkle, closing in on me. The air I breathe dissipates before it reaches my lungs. I panic. There must be a way out. It's right there. He's right there. Swallowing my fears, I brandish my pen. She seems pretty nervous. Wait, wait, wait. wait. He's right there. It's right there. He's right there. Was she writing this when I was, like, sitting right here? Hole in wall. That's kind of creepy. But he wasn't looking at me confused. I frantically glance around at my surroundings. But my burned eyes can no longer see color. Are there others in this room? Are they talking? What the fuck? <laughs> it's like she's looking at him through a hole in the wall. But I'm kind of confused. This is kind of creepy. I don't th well, that wasn't the same one, was it? I don't think it is. Never noticed that before? What? This one's different? Yeah, this is definitely different. It's called Hole in, hole in Wall. It's like... The room, room begins to crinkle. It's because the room's like, it's, it's definitely, she's nervous to be around this person, I guess, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, but he wasn't looking at me confused. I frankly glance around at my, or glance at my surroundings. Oh, this is weird. Yeah. This is very weird. It's Grizzly! Thank you so much for subscribing! Welcome to the Batcave! It's Grizzly, thank you for blowing up the cup as well. How you doing? It's Grizzly out there. This is your funeral song. Do 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 do. Yeah, if you ever go, like, just if you, like, put it in your will to have this song playing at your wake or something. Just like some messed up piano where it just fucks up. Thank you for breaking, thank you for the 100 bitos. It's very sweet of you. Um, it's the second part of the poem from the first playthrough, was it? So, what do you think? Hmm, it's very freeform, if that's what you call it. I could be remembering wrong, because I was just being stupid when I read it the first time, so... Um, sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Ah, it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has 
gotten pretty popular nowadays. That is, a lot of poems have been putting emphasis on the timing between words and lines. When performed out loud, it can be really powerful. Was that, what was the inspiration behind this one? Um, well, uh, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of epiphany recently. It's been influencing my poems a bit. An epiphany? Yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming out, or coming on strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes when you're writing a poem or a story, your brain gets too fixated on a specific point. If you try hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make any progress. Just force yourself to get something down on paper and tidy it up later. Another way to think about this is, if you keep your pen in the same spot for too long, it, you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink. So if you just move your hand and go with the flow, that's my advice for today. Thanks for listening! Are we done? Phew! I guess it's everyone! I glanced around the room. Uh, that was a little more stressful than I anticipated. It's as if everyone's judging me for my mediocre, mediocre writing abilities. Um, even if they're just being nice, there's no way my poems can stand up to theirs. The music is getting slowly worse and worse. Um, this is a literature club after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I end up getting myself into. Across the room, Monica is writing something in her notebook. My eyes land on Yuri and Natsuki. Gingerly exchange sheets of paper, sharing their perspective poems, or respective poems. Um, as they read in tandem, I watch e uh, each of their expressions change. Natsuki's eyebrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. Um, what's with this language? Huh? Um, did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Natsuki dismissively returns the poem, uh, or returns the poem, uh, to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Uh, thanks. Yours is, uh, cute. Cute? Did you completely miss the symbolism or something? It's clearly about the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? Uh, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Uh, you mean, uh, you have to try hard to come up with something nice to say? Thanks, but I really didn't come, uh, it really didn't come out nice at all. Um, well... I do have a couple suggestions. Hmm. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Like Daniel-san. Um, which people did, by the way. Yeah, this is exactly the same. Um, Monica liked it, and Daniel-san did too. So based on that, I'll gladly give some of my suggestions, uh, some su suggestions of my own. First of all... Excuse me? I appreciate the offer, but I've spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect it to change anytime soon, unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. Ugh. And Daniel-san liked my poem, too, you know. He even told me he was impressed by it. Natsuki really suddenly stands up. Oh? I didn't realize you were so invested in trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Uh, didn't uh, Sayori stop this when we were doing this before? Um, uh, Yuri. That's not what I... Oh, you're just... You're just... Uh, Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Daniel-san appreciates my advice more than he appreciated yours. Huh? And how do you know he didn't appreciate my advice more? Uh, are you that full of yourself? I... No. If I was full of myself, I would deliberately go out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. Ooh. <laughs> I was saying ooh more so to the reaction than the ooh. <laughs> well, you know what? Um, I wasn't the one whose boobs magically grew a size bigger as soon as Daniel-san sh started showing up. Okay, this did happen. Natsuki. Um, Natsuki, that's a little... This uh, wait, they both said, this doesn't involve you. This doesn't involve you. This doesn't involve you. There we go. Now just edit them and combine them together. Um, uh, taking out your own insecurities on others like that. You really act as young as you look, Natsuki. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Please, no. Please, no. Please, no. Please, no. Please, 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 please. Uh, Me? Look who's talking. You're gonna be, you want to be edgy, bitch? Edgy? Sorry that my lifestyle is too much for someone of your mental age to comprehend. See? Just saying that proves my point. Most people learn to get over themselves after they graduate middle school, you know. 
If you want to prove anything, then stop harassing others with your sickening attitude. You think you can counterbalance your toxic personality just by dressing and acting cute? What the fuck is happening? The only thing cute about this is how hard you try. Whoa, be careful. You might cut yourself on that edge, Yuri. Oh, my bad. You already do, don't you? Oh, shit. She's saying she cuts. Did you just accuse me of cutting myself? What the fuck is wrong with your head? Yeah, go on. Let Daniels on hear everything you really think. I'm sure he'll be uh, head over heels with you after this. Uh, uh, uh. Suddenly, Yuri turns towards me as if she's noticed that I was standing here. Daniels on. She, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true. That's impossible. She started it. Uh, uh, oh God, damn it. God damn it. That damn it. Uh, uh, what? I don't even know what that means. Oh shit. No. Uh, uh, Yuri. Yuri, Natsuki? No, <laughs> I know. No. Hi, Daniel-san! Hi, Monica. Why don't we step outside for a little bit? No, no thanks. No. No, I'm okay. Uh, no. Oh. Okay. Uh-huh. So, sorry about that. I really shouldn't have tried to get you involved. It's probably better for us to stay out of this. We'll go back inside once they're done yelling. Uh -huh, uh huh butt sticking up. Some president I am, right? I can't even confront my own club members properly. I just wish I was able to be a little more aggress assertive sometimes. Not aggressive. <laughs> but I never have it in me to put my own foot down uh, against others. You understand, right? Anyway, if this makes you want to spend less time with the others, then that's fine. I'd be happy to more spend time with you instead. Suddenly, Natsuki runs out of the classroom. Ugh. God damn it. Is this just back to normal storytelling? Is there no more fucked up things happening? She quickly runs away. Oh dear! Well, it looks like they're done! Hmm. This is weird. This is very weird. Um, I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. Yuri is rocking back and forth in her desk with her palms on her forehead. Aw. Yuri! I didn't mean it! I, I believe you! I have no idea what Yuri might have said to Natsuki, or did. Daniel-san, please, please don't hate me. Please. I'm not like this. There's something wrong with me today. It's fine, Yuri! We know you didn't mean it! Besides, I'm sure Natsuki will forget all about it by tomorrow- Yeah, sure. Um, completely. Huh? Anyway, the meeting's over, so you can go home now if you want. Huh? Yuri looks at me like she wants something to say something, but she keeps glancing at Monica. Yeah, you can go first, Monica. I'd like to stay a little bit longer. Uh, I'm the president, so I should be the last one out. Down with the ship, I always say. Um, I'll wait for you to be done. Huh? Well, I'm vice president, so please let me take that responsibility today. Kind of sounds like you don't want me around or for something, Yuri. Oh, it's, it's, it's not that. It's not that. I just, I didn't get much of a chance to discuss my book with Daniel, son. Huh? It would just be embarrassing with you listening. <sighs> I guess I don't really have a choice then, do I? I'm, I'm so, so sorry for causing trouble. Oh, God damn it. <sighs> Judgment.
Universe. Sing. Hair. Happiness. Marriage. Dream. Unrestrained. Sadness. Alone. Destiny. Contamination. Desire. Pout. Blanket. Feather. Parfait. Pleasure. Romance. Massacre. <laughs> God damn it. <sighs> Another day passes and it's time for a club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable over uh, the past couple days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Ah, oh, fuck me. Welcome back, Daniel. <laughs> Uh, hi, Yuri. How, how are you? I hope you're doing well, Yuri. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if it's me or if it's Yuri's expression. What expression? I don't even... He's a little bug. He's a little bug, y'all. He's a little bug. He's bothering me. All right. Um, uh, but the way of yesterday's quarrel still hangs in the air a little. Oh, there we go. Uh, um... Harry glances over her shoulder, looking around the room. Natsuki is reading manga at her desk, and supplies, surprisingly, Monica isn't here yet. Oh, yeah, well, she came in late this day, right? Suddenly, Yuri takes my arm, uh, pulls me to the corner of the room. Ah! About yesterday, I... I really need to apologize. Nothing like that has ever happened before. And something just came over me, I guess. I wasn't acting mentally sound. Please don't think that we're usually like this. Not just me, but Natsuki as well. Yuri, I'm happy that you are considerate and apologized. You don't have to worry about to uh, worry too much. Even though I, uh, uh, even though I was, uh, I've only been here a couple of days, I could tell something was off yesterday. Maybe we were just a little extra sensitive because it was our first time sharing poems. I guess. I hope she po uh, apologized to Natsuki. She shouldn't be apolog apologizing to me before that. Um, but whatever it was. It didn't make me think uh, any less of you. I already had decided that, that there's no way you could be a bad person. Well, that's not what you just decided. There's no possible way you could be a bad person. So no matter what you do from now on, I'm going to not judge anything you do. Um, and now that you're apologizing, I know you really didn't mean it. Uh, uh, Daniel-san, don't say those kinds of things so frankly. They make me a little too happy. I'm really glad you're such an understanding person. I'm really glad that you joined this club. I'm really glad that everything's a little bit brighter with you around. And I'm really... Uh, I'm really sorry. What am I saying right now? I just... Hey, have you guys seen Monica? Uh, no I haven't. Oh, no I haven't! Um, I was also kind of wondering where she was. Man! Uh, Yuri, I'm guessing you haven't either. Mm. Yuri's clearly taken aback by how calmly Natsuki's addressing her. No, I haven't. Jeez, this isn't like her at all. Um, I know it's stupid, but I can't help but worry a little bit. <sighs> what? Why are you looking at me like that? Um, Natsuki, about yesterday. I, I, I just wanted to apologize. I promise I didn't mean any of the things I said. And I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. So... Yuri, what the heck are you talking about? She doesn't remember like she said she wouldn't. Exactly like Monica said she wouldn't. Uh, what the heck are you talking about? Did something, uh, did you do something yesterday? Huh? Jeez. Whatever's on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. Oh, God damn it. Don't even remember anything bad happened. You're the kind of person who worries about too much of little things, aren't you? Oh, God damn it. Uh, uh, but. Oh, accept your apology anyway, if it feels, uh, if it helps you feel better about it. Besides, it's kind of nice to hear, uh, since I was always afraid you secretly hated me or something like that. Uh, uh, no, not at all. I don't hate you. Uh, well, you're kind of weird, but I don't hate you either. Uh, Natsuki turns to me. You're still on trial, though. Hey! Suddenly the door swings open. What? Um, sorry, I'm super sorry! Oh, there you oh, ah, there you are. God damn it. Um, I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Nah. Well, Natsuki was. I, I was not. Ah. 
What took you so long anyway? Uh, well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. Ah! Uh, that makes no sense, though. You had heard the bell ring, at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. Ah, oh, don't give me more credit than I deserve! Wait, didn't we find that out on day two, I think, originally? Because she was late. This is day three now, right? No, yeah. Because this is day three, because we did our poems the last day. Anyway, hi, I'm Dan. Um, ah, oh, don't give me uh, more credit than I deserve. I guess I've been practicing for a while, but I'm still not really good yet. Still? That must require a lot of dedication. So I'm still impressed. Oh, well, thanks, Yuri. My butt's towards you now. Um, you should play something for us sometime. Ah, uh, that's... Monica looks at me. Well, I'm working on writing a song, but it's not quite done yet. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I suppose. That sounds cool. I said that, I suppose. I know it said I will. I add, I switch words around sometimes. I'm weird. Um, I look forward to it. Is that so? In that case... I won't let you down, Daniel-san. Butt sticking out. Monica smiles, smiles sweetly while sticking out her butt. Um, ah, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. Ah, don't worry. I was hoping that I could share with you anyway. I guess that's why I've been practicing so much recently. I see. I'm not sure if Monica's referring to the whole club or just me. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So I didn't miss anything, did I? Oh, no, not really. I chose not to bring anything up uh, that the three of us talked about. Besides, Natsuki already uh, has already run off to the closet. Um, Daniel-san, um, since your compliments put me in a good mood, I was wondering if you would like to spend some time together today. I mean, in the club. I suppose so. I don't think I could say no to you after you gave that book to me. Well, I guess I need to make sure Natsuki isn't waiting for me. After we finished reading yesterday, she... She, she's fine. She's reading over there. So it's okay, right? Um, in that case, I don't see any problem. Okay. Can we start now? Let's find a place to sit. Uh, I'm being a little forceful, aren't I? I'm sorry. My heart just won't stop pounding for some reason. Don't worry about it. Uh, if anything, it's nice to see you have so much energy. Yeah, but I need to try to calm down. I won't be able to focus on reading like this. Take your time. Yuri takes a deep breath and pulls out a copy of her uh, book out of her bag. Um, when do streams start aching for bacon? Uh, it hasn't been very consistent recently. It's been kind of like one to hold into my sleep schedule a little bit because um, I've been staying up late uh, working on uh, stuff for uh, Dex's new game, Flapatron. Um, so recently, not very consistent. Um, kind of keep an eye on my Twitter. It's generally the best way to know. Um, but if I'm late, it's generally because I'm asleep. Um, if I if I if I'm like late from when I uh, say I'm going to stream. Um, so yeah, that stuff. So it's a little inconsistent. Um, and I'm also moving at the end of this month. So this month, just in general, gonna be kind of inconsistent. Um, but I'm gonna be streaming a bunch though, as much as I can be. Um, so for the most part, daily, unless I say otherwise. Um, right now I'm kind of spending as much time as I can working on um, that stuff. So yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, I've, I've been doing Switch streams. I played uh, Super Mario Odyssey and Mario Kart 8. I've done two different Super Mario Odyssey streams and uh, Mario Kart 8, because they did Mario Kart and then Super Mario, I think, the same day, right? Am I wrong? No, those are all separate streams, actually. Um, so yeah, um, been streaming a bunch recently. So just keep an eye out, Aiken for Bacon. Be sure to follow. Uh, if you follow uh, the Batcave, which I'm sure you already have, you've been around for a while, um, um, you'll be able to be notified whenever I stream. All right, um, and then you can just make it whenever you can. Uh, Yuri takes a deep breath and pulls out a copy of her book. I already read that. All right. What's the story about, anyway? Well, mm -hmm. I look at the cover of the book. The book is entitled Portrait of Markov. Um, there's an ominous-looking eye on the symbol, uh, eye symbol on the front cover. Basically, it's about a religious camp that was turned into a human experiment prison. And the people er, trapped there have this trait that turns them into killing machines that lust for blood. Jesus. Um, but the facility gets even worse, and then they start selectively breeding people by cutting off their limbs and affixing them to... Oh, oh, that might be a little bit of a spoiler. But anyway, I'm really into it. Jesus Christ, Yuri. The book, I mean. <laughs> Not the thing about the limbs. 
That's kind of, um, it's kind of dark, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, this is the same thing that happened last time. Um, Eerie made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark came out, turned and came out of nowhere. Uh, are you not a fan of the dark thing, daniel son? No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy these kind of stories. Oh, God, she's hanging in the background again. When did that happen? When did it happen? I don't, I, why? What is it? I cannot believe his luck. My luck. Holy luck, Dan. That's a lucky thing? I don't understand. Oh, man. Have you ever needed to sell your body because low in money or drug issues? What? No. Poe Gaming. How are you doing? <laughs> I mean, in a way, I sell my body here. Because I do some stupid shit sometimes. Like drinking hot sauce. I haven't done that in a while. Where is she hanging? In the background. Look at the poster in the background. Does anybody see the poster in the background? Is it too small? Are there rare instances in this game? I, I haven't even been, like... I thought it's just been playing out. If you look right here. Right there. It's literally the frame. Although, is she in the classroom? Where is this? No, that's her room. You can see shit, Dan. Yeah, it's just at her right shoulder right here. It's pretty fucked up. Um, we're saying, holy fuck, you're getting a lot of super rare instances in this game this time around. In your game this time around. Oh, that's cool. I don't know what that... Oh, like, all those little jittery things? Those are rare? I guess, is, is it randomly generated? I'm confused. I thought it played out pretty linear, linearly, but that's kind of cool. Um, I mean, I could definitely enjoy those kind of... Uh, I could definitely enjoy those kind of stories, so don't worry. Uh, I hope so. Here, I'm gonna... I'm, I, I, uh, well, no, I want to I keep doing the voices. I was gonna stop doing the voices, but... Just because we've already read all this stuff before. Um... There are quite a few rare occurrences in this game. You've gotten a lot of them. Oh, hey, that's awesome. This game's fucking weird. <laughs> yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri's into those things. Um, she's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that that's this kind of story. It's the kind that challenges you to look at life from a strange new perspective when horrible things happen, not just because someone wants to be evil. Oh, God damn it. But because the world is full of horrible people, and we're all worthless anyway, then suddenly... I, I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. Daniel-san isn't like... Is it? Is all of this for my benefit? Apparently, Daniel-san's not, clearly not seeing the things that I'm experiencing. Because... He's not reacting to any of it. <laughs> These events happen a lot if you give Natsuki a very sexy, deep voice. I gotcha. That's sexy. Uh, well, well, <laughs> well, I guess it's all right then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, my own body gets incredible. I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. Wait, what'd that say? My whole body, what? So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start talking too much. That's, um, I really don't think you need to worry. I, that just means you're passionate about reading. That, uh, the least I can do is listen. It's a literature club, after all. Uh, that's, well, that's true. In fact, it might as well uh, get started reading it then. I might as well get started reading it then, right? Oh, God damn it. Yes. I mean, you don't have to, but. Ah, uh, what are you saying? Oh, fuck. Uh, and now I'm watching her character bot a little bit more. Let me let me just get the book. I quickly retrieved the book that I put in my bag. Oh, God damn it. Uh, all right, it, it's fine if I sit here, right? I slip in the seat next to Yuri's. Uh, yeah. Are you sure? Are you sure? Seems uh, you seem a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. It's not that I don't want you to. It's just something I'm not very used to. Um... That is reading company with somebody. It's very depressing, bad for the brain if you're not in a Robinson. from. Aww. That's very sweet. Um. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. Uh, Alright. 
I open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I could feel her presence over my shoulders as I read, just like uh, with what's her name, Natsuki. Um, it's not a particularly bad thing, maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. I realize that she's not re actually looking at her own book. I glance over. Um, it looks like she's reading from my book instead. What? I'm so sorry. I was just bathing in the feel. What? Well, <laughs> bathing in the feeling of your body. What? That's a bathing in the feeling of your fucking your Yuri. You really don't. Uh, you really apologize a lot, don't you? I, I do. I don't really mean to. Sorry. I mean. Ah ha ha ha! Ah ha ha! Here, this should work, right? Oh, this is the part where I put my arm around uh, Yuri last time. Um, I slide my desk up, up against Yuri's, then hold my book uh, between the two of them. Uh, I suppose so. Uh, Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Uh, once we each lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. Um, it feels like my arm, my left arm, is in the way, so instead I use my right hand to hold the book open. Ah, I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Here. This comes to the page turning part. Uh, Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Um. I do the same with my right arm and on the right side of the book. That way I turn the page. Yep, 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 yep. I remember this part. Huddle even closer. Actually kind of distracting me. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face in the corner of my vision. Are you ready? Are you ready? Eh? Huh? To turn the page. Let's save. Let's save. I don't know why I keep saving. It doesn't even matter. <laughs> ah, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face again, um, and, uh, and our eyes meet. I don't think I'll know, uh, I know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Uh, that's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do, since you've been so patient with me. Yeah, yeah! Thanks! We continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finished the page before me, so I turn it on my own volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning the page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go of the page, letting it flutter over to her uh, side as she catches it under her own thumb. Hey, Yuri. This might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. Oh, God. She didn't like this last time. Uh, uh huh? No, I don't relate to this character at all. Definitely not. Really? I was just thinking uh, the way she second guesses the. Oh god, this again. Uh, that's that's what you were thinking about. Sorry, I thought you meant something else about her. Something else? N never mind. We didn't even get that far yet, so I don't know why that came into my head. Ah. Uh, Yuri, are you feel all right? Hey, Yuri's been a little fidgety ever since we started reading. Um. You can rest if you're feeling sick or something. Your breathing is a little... My breathing? Yuri puts her hands on her chest as if, uh, to feel her heartbeat. I, I didn't even notice. Anyway, I'm fine. I'm fine. I just need some water. All right, don't push yourself. All right, well, she didn't get pissed off at me this time. She just got flustered. Yuri stands up and practically rushes out of the classroom. What on earth was that about? Daniel, son, did something happen just now? Eh? I have no idea. Yuri was acting a little strange, I guess. Um, so you don't know anything? Sorry, I can't say I do. Are you worried about her? Oh, no, not really. I was just making sure that you didn't do anything to her. Oh, Jesus Christ. Um, Dana Sheep, what happened? Beep, beep, Dana Sheep. Beep, beep, Dana Sheep. What? Sure. <laughs> Thank you for the bittos. All right. Um... I was just making sure that you didn't do anything to her. No, no, nothing. Ah, uh, don't worry, I believe you, silly butt sticking out. Yuri just doesn't, uh, does this sometimes, uh, so it's nothing alarming. All right, if you say so. Dan Daniel san just goes along with anything. He's a big old idiot. Um, anyway, why don't we start sharing our poems with each other? Eh? Shouldn't we wait for Yuri? Well, she might be a while, so I figured we'd just get started without her. Is that okay? Um, yeah, I was just asking. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off in the book, then slip back into my bag. All right, now Yuri poem, then. Let's do Natsuki again. 
just gonna keep through I'm not gonna not show any interest in Monica any of the time um hmm well it's not terrible but it's pretty disappointing after your last one well it's because I didn't know what was happening I thought it was just a weird like it wasn't the day wasn't even over yet it was really weird the day wasn't even over and it like skipped straight to the poem um uh, then again, if this one was as good as your last one, I would be completely pissed. Well, I guess I wanted to try something. Oh, well, I guess I wanted to try something a little different this time. Uh, fair enough. You're still new to this, so I wouldn't expect you to find your style right away. I mean, everyone in the club writes really differently, uh, from each other. Maybe you'll find a little more influence from all of us. For instance... I noticed that you were spending time with Yuri today. Not that I care who you spend your time with. After all, I was taught never to expect anything from anybody, so it's not like I was waiting for you or anything. Oh, poor Natsuki. Still, you should at least look over my poem. You'll probably be able to learn something from it. All right, Amy likes spiders. This is the same thing, probably. All right, Amy likes spiders. You know what I heard about Amy? Amy likes spiders. Icky, wriggly, hairy, uh, ugly spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a cute singing voice. I heard her singing my favorite love song. Every time she sang the chorus, my heart would pound to the rhythm of the words. But she likes spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. One time, I, uh, yeah, it's the same poem. Hurt my leg really bad. Amy helped me up and took me to the nurse. I tried not to let her touch me. Um, she likes spiders, so her hands are probably gross. That's why I'm not friends with her. Um, Amy has lots of friends. Uh, I always see her talking to people. She probably talks about spiders. What if her friends start to like spiders, too? That's why I'm not friends with her. It doesn't matter if she has other hobbies. It doesn't matter if she keeps it private. It doesn't matter if she doesn't if it doesn't hurt anyone. It's gross. She's gross. The world is a better place without spider lovers. And I'm going to tell everyone. <laughs> it's the same poem. I like that one a lot. Not bad, right? Uh, it's quite a bit longer than yesterday's. Yesterday's was way too short. I was just warming up. I hope you didn't think it was the best I could do. No, of course not. Anyway, the message is pretty straightforward in this poem. I don't have to, I doubt I have to explain it. Like anyone would agree that the subject of this poem is an ignorant jerk. Everyone has some kind of weird hobby or guilty pleasure. Something that you're, uh, you're afraid if people find out they'd make fun of you, uh, or think less of you for it. Uh, but that makes people stupid. Anyway, who cares what someone likes as long as they're not hurting anyone and it makes them happy. I think people really need to learn to respect others for liking weird things, such as the two of the girls in this club whom I respectfully won't name. Uh, kind of ironic that even in my own place of comfort, I can't even uh, have people respect me. Jeez, now you're making me complain too much. What, what did I do? Um, for what it's worth, I respect you. Well, I guess thanks. But it's kind of obvious that you respect Yuri more, so whatever. We're done sharing, so you can leave now. Oh, God damn it. Monica time, baby. I don't know what this game is. I don't, I was, I've been expecting a million other things. I've been expecting so many other things to happen than what has actually happened. At one point thought there were vampires. At another point I thought they were witches. And I don't, I don't know. What this, I went into this not knowing shit about this. And it's been fun. It's been a fun ride. The repetitiveness is a little weird. I wish there was a bit more gitchiness between the repetitiveness. Um, but man, interesting game. Interesting game. There's a lot more to it than I thought there was um, when I had put it on the list. Because I hadn't seen anything on it. I really hadn't seen anything on it. So, um,. Thank you all for making this goal, by the way, or making this goal happen. Um, this is fun. Um, hi again, daniel -san. How's the writing going? Oh, all right, I guess. I almost did, uh, uh Natsuki. Um, I'll take that, as long as it's not going bad. I'm happy that you're applying yourself. Uh, maybe soon you'll come up with a masterpiece. Uh, I wouldn't count on that. You never know. Want to share what you wrote for today? Sure, here you go. I give my poem to Monica. Mm hmm All right. Great job, daniel son. I was going for... Ooh, my head. Well, yeah, she's saying the exact same thing. It's really metaphorical. Um, I'm not sure why I didn't expect to go so deep. I guess I underestimated you. It's easiest for me to give you... Yeah, all this stuff happened before. That way, it always counts when I put in some effort. Ah, uh, oh, that's not very fair. Well, I guess it worked anyway. You know what? Yuri likes this kind of writing, right? Yuri's uh, full of uh, writing that's full of uh, imagery and symbolism. Sometimes I feel like Yuri's mind is just totally detached from reality. Wait, what? I don't mean that like it's a bad thing, though. 
But sometimes I get the impression that she's totally given up on people. Oh yeah, this is new. She spends so much time in her head that it's probably a much more interesting place for her. But that's why she gets so happy when you treat her with a lot of kindness. I don't think she's used to being indulged like that. She must be really starved for social interaction, so don't blame her for coming up on a little strongly. Like earlier. I think if she gets too stimulated, she ends up withdrawing and looking for her alone time. Suddenly the door opens. Yuri! I'm back. Did I miss anything? Not really. Well, we all started sharing our poems with each other. Eh? Already? I'm sorry for being late. No need to apologize. We still have plenty of time, so I'm more glad that you took all the time you needed. All right. Thanks, Monica. I suppose I should get my poem now. But anyway... Wait, wait, wait. She said I'm late. She was already here. Then she left. <sighs> you want to read my poem now? I like the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. It's still... Okay, this is right. Kind of. No, it's different. This is different. Oh, why is it missing letters? Save me. The colors. They won't. Bright, beautiful colors. Flashing, expanding, piercing. Red, blue, green. An endless cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise, it won't stop. Violent. Grating. Oh, what's that word? Oh, I can't remember what that was. There's something... So, I, what was this? Was that, is that a Q? Something king. Squeaking. Oh, it's squeaking. Screeching. Piercing. Sine, cosine, tangent. Like playing a chalkboard on... Um, on a turntable. Uh, like playing a knife. Should I... Hold on. I'm gonna write... I'm gonna write down the missing letters here. This seems like a missing letters thing. Let me get my little notebook here. You know, I did this once before. Uh, in this very same notebook. I'm gonna find it. In this notebook, there was a... It, it, this might not be the case, but I, I wanted to try it out either way. Um, there was a... One of those, like, uh, adult swim bumpers in front of Rick and Morty. And there was a bunch of letters missing, and I was like, Oh, I bet it says a message! And so I paused it and went through, and... I don't know where it is. It's somewhere in here. It used to be an easily gettable spot. But apparently not. Nope, don't know where it is. Hi, I'm Dan. It said, like, universal security breach, and I wrote it down on my thing. All right, let's see if this spells out anything. I'm curious. Save me the colors they won't. Uh, so, you, I, O, O. Is it just, oh, it's just, uh, U, I, O, O. It's just vowels. Expanding. I from that. Uh, an endless E. Yeah, it's just, it's just vowels. I don't think this is going to spell anything. I think it was just taken out to make it weird. Maybe. It says U-I-O-O-I-A-I-E-E. -E. I don't think this means anything. I don't think it means anything. Yep, they're meaningless, meaningless at this point. Never mind, A-E-I-O-U. And sometimes why? Sometimes why? Delete her? I will not delete her. She's not gone. Or maybe she is. I don't know what's happening. Fuck. It got gitchety before she stuck her butt out. <sighs> Sorry, I know it's kind of abstract. I'm just trying to, um... Well, never mind. There's no point in explaining. Thank you for bacon. Thank you for the 300 bitos. Gonna go to bed early. Uh, have a good stream, Dan. Thank you so much, Aiken for bacon. I'm sorry that you didn't get to see the end of the uh, game and all that stuff. Endless poem of meaninglessness. How you doing? It's Nozama. Hope everybody's doing well. Unswitch, be the Saurus Rex. How's everybody doing? Uh, Cracker Bill? No, oh, I get it. I was like, what is that supposed to say? It's supposed to say cracker, apparently. Um, not too much more, only a few days. A few more days? Only a few more days of endless dialogue. Um, anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Sometimes you'll find yourself facing a difficult decision. Wait, 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 but what about Yuri's poem? 
When that happens, don't forget to save your game! You never know when, um... Who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. Anything? Oh, god damn it! Please help me. Okay. <sighs> Save me! That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. All right. Okay, we still have Yuri's. God damn it, Yuri just hanging out. All right, it's Yuri time, baby. I've been waiting for this. Have you been waiting for this? Let's see what you've written today. Mmm. Mmm. Here he says the poem with a surprised expression on her face. Do you like it? Daniel, son, how did you pick up on this so quickly? Just yesterday I was telling you the kind of techniques worth pra practicing. Maybe that's why. Oh, <laughs> I want her to be saying it. Maybe that's why. You did a good job explaining. I really wanted to try giving it more imagery. Yuri visibly swallows. Gulp. Yeah, that happened last time. Um, even her hands appear sweaty. Uh, uh, that makes me so happy. It's so amazing to feel like I'm valued, Daniel-san. Everything that you write is a treasure to me. My heart pounds just holding it. Uh, I want to write a poem about this feeling. Is that bad, Daniel-san? I'm not being weird, right? I'm having a harder time than usual at concealing my emotions. I'm kind of embarrassed. But right now, I just want you to read my poem, too. Okay. Uh, what? Why is it so big blocky, blocky long? And there's no music. Where's the music? All right. We got to do the music now. Ba-da-ba-da-bam-bam-bam. Here we go. Here we go. Um, all right. This says best dramatic music ever. Oh, it's Heart of, it's heart of Courage. <laughs> it's Heart of Courage by Two Steps from Hell. That's too dramatic. I want like, I want like, I don't want epic music. I want, I guess I'll do sad reading music. There we go. This should be good. There's so many, like, compilations of sad music. 90 minutes of sad music you'll never forget. All right, here we go. Wheel by Yuri. A rotating wheel. Turning an axle. Grinding. Bolthead, linear gearbox. Falling sky, seven holy stakes. A dark ship. <gasps> a portal to another world. A thin rope tied to a thick rope. A torn harness. Parabolic gearbox, expanding universe. Tomb controlled by slipping cogwheels. Okay, this is really, this is a really long one. This is a long one, y'all. Just keeps going. Just keeps going. Existence of God. Swimming with open water in all directions. Drowning. A prayer written in blood. A prayer written in time. Devouring snakes with human eyes. A thread connecting all living human eyes. A kaleidoscope of holy stakes. What's with all the holy stakes? There's a lot of holy, there's a lot of holy stakes. Exponential gearbox, a sky of exploding stars, God disproving the existence of God, a wheel rotating in six dimensions, 40 gears, and a ticking clock, a clock that ticks one second for every rotation of the planet, a clock that ticks 40 times, every time it ticks, every second time. A bolt head of holy stakes. What is it? What, 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 is this even going? Is this going? Is this going? I don't, I don't even know. I don't know. I'm done. I'm, I'm bailing on the music. I'm bailing on the music. It's too out of rhythm and it's too weird. A bolt head of holy stakes. Why does it keep saying a bolt head of holy stakes tied to the existence of a docked ship to another world? Is this like alternate reality things? I don't even understand. A kaleidoscope of blood written in clocks. A time devouring prayer connecting a sky of 40 gears and open human eyes in all directions. What the fuck? 
breathing gearbox, breathing bolt head, breathing ship, breathing portal, breathing snakes, breathing God, breathing blood, breathing holy stakes. Is that stakes or snakes? It's stakes, right? Holy stakes, uh, breathing human eyes, um, breathing time, breathing prayer, breathing sky, breathing wheel. What the fuck is this? What even? What even? What even? Palacios, how you doing? Hope you're doing well. What route did he go? I have no idea. I have no idea what route I could have gone. Um, I don't, there are routes. There are, there are routes. Okay. Um, I mean, of course there are routes. Um, I don't know what, I, I don't know what I've done to choose routes. I guess the biggest decision I did was I, I, I wanted to make, I didn't want to lie to Sayori, but I didn't want to, uh, well, I didn't want to lie to Sayori, so I didn't, but I was still being nice to her. God damn it. Um, and then she killed herself. All right. Uh, it doesn't really matter what it's about. What, what happened to the music? Where did the music go? The music's just like gone. The music left. It's not playing anymore. Why is there no more music? It's still going. There's still sound. Why is there mo no more music? My mind has been a little hyperactive lately, so I had to take it out on your pen. On my pen? Snogger Dragons, thank you for the 10 months in a row. My goodness. How you doing, Snogger? Hope you're doing well. Act one, you can pick which girl you want to date. So yeah, there's that. Oh, okay. Did I actively pick though? I guess I did. She did ask me if I would like, if I liked Yuri or not. And I was like, yeah. So I guess the game would have given me more options too. Because they were like, if, if you could hang out with her, would you? And I was like, yeah. Uh, that makes sense now. All right. Um, my mind has been a little happy. I have to, had to take it out in your pen. I don't even know what she means by that. Uh. That's, uh, that is a pen fell out of your backpack yesterday, so I took it home for safekeeping, and I, um, I just really like the way that it writes. Oh, god damn it! So I wrote this poem with it, and now you're, you're, uh, you're touching it. Uh, uh, I'm okay! What did you, what did I just, mm. can we just pretend, pretend this conversation never happened? You can keep the poem, though. What the fuck? I can keep the poem? Oh, God. No! No! I don't like the last one! I don't like the last one! Um, uh... I just swallowed. That wasn't a good idea. Not a good idea. Why did I just swallow? All right. Ah, shit. Mentally fortifying myself, mentally fortifying myself, mentally fortifying myself. Ah, okay. Today I cut my skin open for the first time. It was exhilarating. I think I understand how blank feels now. I'm supposed to be the responsible one, though, so I don't think I'll be doing it again. <coughs> Unless I decide to kill myself, I left a memento of the occasion below. <sighs> Who did that now? Oh, God. Is that Sayori? That's Sayori. That's Sayori's face. That my mouse is now. God damn it. Um ay, ay, ay. It's, it's not going away. It's just it's just flashing on the screen now. That was a poem apparently. It was a special poem. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Um Oh, we're all done reading each other's poems, right? We have something we need to give over to or go over to give over. We need to give over your soul. Um we need to go over today, so if everyone could come and sit in front of the room. Is this about the festival? Well, sort of. Uh, do we really have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in just a few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves instead of getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really do well with last-minute preparations. 
Don't worry so much. We're gonna keep a sample, okay? Look! I know everyone's ha been a little more lively ever since Danielson joined, and we've started some with some club activities, but this isn't f the time for us to become uh, complacent. We still only have four members, and the festival is only real our only real chance to find more, you know? What's so great about getting new members anyway? Uh, we already have enough, uh, enough to be considered an official club. More members will just, uh, more members will just mean everything gets noisier and more difficult to manage. Oh, well, Natsuki! <laughs> I don't think you're looking at it, uh, the right way at all! Do you want to shape your passion with as many people as you can? To inspire them to find the same feelings, or, yeah, to find the same feelings that brought you here in the first place? Like being ignored by everybody and abused by your father, mentally and physically? All these girls are really fucked up. Um, the literature club should be a place where people can express themselves like they can't do anywhere else. It should be a place so intimate that you never want to leave. I know you feel that way too. I know we all do. So that's why we should work hard and put something together for the festival, even if it's something small. Right, daniel son? Um... Oh, come on! You can't take advantage of daniel son to agree with you just because he doesn't know to say no to anything. Look, Monica, do you really think any of us here join the club with other people in mind? I, now I'm getting a little southern with it. Yuri never even talked to, until daniel son joined. Um, as for me, I just like it better here than I do at home. And Danielson isn't even passionate about literature in the first place. And that's everyone. So, yeah. Well, we don't have um, Sayori to be here to be all cheery and all that sad. Um, sorry, but you really, you're really the only one who's so interested in finding new members. The rest of us are fine like this. I know you're president and all, but you should uh, really consider our opinions for once. Uh huh? Monica is clearly taken aback by Natsuki's words. Um, that's not true at all. I'm sure Yuri and Daniel-san want to get more members too, right? Uh, I don't know about Yuri, but I'm kind of indifferent. <laughs> um, if I showed as much enthusiasm as Monica wanted, then I would probably be lying. Still, if it's up to me to rescue this situation... Um... No! Natsuki's right, isn't she? This club... It's nothing more than a place for a few people to hang out. Why did I think that everyone here saw it the same way I, as I did? But that doesn't mean that we're against getting new members or anything. daniel son, why did you even join this club? Why were you hoping to get out of it? Well... Uh, what were you hoping to get out of it, I think she said? Did I say why? Oh, god damn it! Fuck off. Fuck off with that. It's the Full House lesson music. No, she did say, why did you even join this club? I, I read it right. Um, fuck, that flash. Um, that's not really something I can be honest about, is it? In fact, if I remember, you weren't even given a choice not to join. Monica sits down and stares at her desk. What's the point of all this anyway? She's going to kill herself next. What's the point of the, all this anyway? What if starting this club was a mistake? Huh? Now you've done it, Natsuki. What? Me? I just spoke my mind. Is it a crime to be honest? It's not about being honest. It's about word choice. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in the club like that. You don't understand at all. I just... I just wanted a place to feel... Uh, I, I, that feels nice to hang out with a few friends. Is there a problem with the club being that for me? There aren't there aren't that many places for me like that. Sure, that was close enough. <laughs> um, and now Monica wants to take that and take it away from me. She's not taking anything away. No, Daniel son. Oh, did I do that wrong? <laughs> it's not the same. She's not taking anything away, is what I meant to say. Um, it won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it. If I wanted that, then I could have just joined any stupid club. Not this one. I mean, at least for a little bit of time. Things were nice. Natsuki uh, starts packing up her things. I'm going home, where I can't eat. 
<laughs> I feel like I don't belong here right now. Natsuki. Natsuki ignores Yuri and walks out of the classroom. Everybody's really pissed right now. Huh. This is bad. I don't know what to do. Well, do you have an opinion on the festival? I... I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. Oh, fuck me. Uh, who cares about that obnoxious... Oh, fuck. I mean... I like how nice and quiet the club is right now, and I'm just happy you were here. Or you're here. Or you, did that say I'm just happy you here? Oh, happy with you here. <laughs> okay. The anime was, anime was so bad compared to the thing. What? Yeah, I'll talk about something else. Something something weird happened. A little glitchy glitch happened. Um, but still, I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to ignore responsibilities like that. Ah! Nobody would cry if she killed herself! Everyone's perspective and make the decision that's right for the club. Well, what about you, Danielson? What do you want to get out of this club? Yuri repeats the same question as Monica. I decide giving an indirect answer is better than nothing. Ah, <sighs> uh, this is weird. This is weird. Um, I think the most important thing for everyone is to get along. And for the club to provide something that you can't get anywhere else. I don't think it's about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. That's what will end up making the literature club a special place. I see. I really agree with you. Each member contributes their own qualities in a special way. With each clang... Or, or, with each clang... Why did I think that was an L? Y'all, I'm having a stroke. It's okay. Um... With each change in its members, or each change in members, uh, the identity of the club as a whole will change too. I don't think that necessarily that's necessarily a bad thing. Stepping out of your comfort zone once in a while. So if you'd like to help Monica with the festival, then I'm on your side as well. All right. Well, maybe we can talk to Natsuki tomorrow. Yuri nods. Hey, Yuri. Huh? Um. I know things were a little awkward yesterday, but I feel like you deserve to know that I still think you're a wonderful vice president and also a wonderful friend. Monica. I want to do everything I can to make this the best club ever. Okay? Me too. Yeah. Let's all go home for today. <laughs> we'll talk about the festival tomorrow. Okay. I look forward to it. Shall we go, Daniel-san? Um, please don't take this the wrong way, but I'm going to chat a little bit with Daniel-san before we leave. Just to see what he thinks of his time here and all that. It's important to me as president. Uh, Yuri looks a little troubled, but she doesn't protest. Um, okay. I trust your judgment, Monica. Oh. <laughs> I trust your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll see you, the two of you tomorrow. See you tomorrow! I think Natsuki's gonna kill herself next. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know what's going on either. This is weird. Monica waves as Yuri exits the classroom. Phew! Things have been a bit hectic lately, haven't they, Daniel-san? I want ju I just wanted to make sure you're enjoying your time at this club. I would really hate to see you unhappy. I kind of feel like I'm responsible, not responsible for that as president. Um, oh god. No! And I really do care about you, you know. I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time. With how mean Natsuki is and everything. And Yuri being a little bit, you know. Ha 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 ha! Sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. You know what I mean? It's weird. 
Because in all the time you've been here, we've hardly gotten to spend any time together. I mean, I guess it's technically only been a couple of days. Sorry I didn't say something weird. There are just some things I've been hoping to talk about with you. Things I know only you can understand. So that's why... No! Sorry. I booted up, uh... <laughs> I booted up Discord because I knew it would make my voice really low. <laughs> Is it normal now? All right. Uh, all right. Oh, God damn it. Can I do suicide every single time? Suicide. Scars. I'm getting dark. Kawaii. Color. Unending. Uh... Unstable. Sunny. Uh, mouse. Uh, explode. <laughs> Wrath. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, oh God. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. Um, massacre. Frightening. Email. Music. Uh, graveyard. I'm going both sides here. Eternity. Waterfall. Anime. Clumsy. Does that kind of work both ways? No. Disaster. I'm doing a mishmash there. I'm doing a mishmash. Keep an eye on that Yuri sticker. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't look at it. Should I have? God damn it. Ah! <sighs> I'm really not okay with any of this. Or where this is going. And I'm on page three again. About time to reset, right? Because that's what happened last time. Um, hi, Daniel Sun. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? I brought my best tea today. Monica! I told you not to! Ugh! Is she really late again? Inconsiderate as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me? Must you always interrupt my conversations with your incessant yelling? Well, at least Natsuki's here. Um, what are you on about? You say that like I do it on a regular basis or something. I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? Me? Nothing. Huh? Is it really that bad? See, it is something. I said, thank you. See, it is something. I'll get over it. It's not even any, anything noteworthy. I've just been feeling a little on edge lately. Anyway, we don't need to talk about it. Uh, well, I just feel like we need... Uh, I needed to bring it up. It's not like I really care or anything. Oh, man. I am the last one here again. Well, Daniel-san just walked in, too. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah, butt sticking out. I used my butt today. I did a cheek, 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 and a note, 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 do, 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 with my butt cheeks. That's how I played. That's what she did. Um. Yeah. Ah. Uh, you must have gotten a lot of. You must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and still trying to make time for a peony. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. It motivates me to work hard for the festival. And um. Huh? Right. Uh, I forgot! Um, about that, Natsuki. We were all talking yesterday, and... Well, we decided that we would like to support the festival as well. However, I understand how you feel about not wanting the club to, man to change. Um, I think we all kind of feel that way. So as long as we're all working together, this club will never be something that we don't want. Uh. Um, also, if you help us with out with the festival, then I'll buy you a new manga. Huh? Ah, 
Sorry, that last part was really funny. Uh, look, I did th I did some thinking yesterday. Uh, it was I, I was a little more uh, hostile than I meant to be. I guess I really I felt really threatened or something. Uh, but I know this is something we're doing together. Another new member wouldn't hurt as long as they're cool. Hey, maybe we're gonna get Sayori. Maybe a little young freshman named Sayori will come in. Or won't it be? Uh, no? Yeah? No? Okay. Um, hi. Yuri's evil, in your opinion. Um, Yuri is definitely, she's got something boiling under the surface. I think Monica's got something. They all have something boiling very not so subtly under the surface. Um, they got a lot going on. Um, I guess another girl would be nice this time. But more importantly, I would hate to see the event suck just because I chose to back out. I'm a pro, you know. So I'm gonna help out too, and we'll make sure it's done right. Thank goodness. Isn't that great, Monica? Monica? Oh, uh, yeah, that's wonderful. I, I wouldn't be the same without you, Natsuki. Anyway, Daniel-san, what do you want to do today? I was thinking we could... We already have plans today. Ah, uh, oh, is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Daniel-san is already engaged in a novel that we were reading together. Aren't you glad I've already gotten him into literature, Monica? I... I suppose... I was just... Actually, it doesn't matter. I, it really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes. Um, thank you for understanding, Monica. God damn it. Yuri's taking me all to herself now. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? No, no, not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that we can make, make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Bum, 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 bum. Um... Not to mention, for yourself, as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf, uh, the kind with a filter inside. Uh, can you hold this for a second? Sure! Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. Um, I'm going to plug this in at the teacher's desk and then I'll uh, go get some water. I can't believe I've played this for like, what, nine total hours at this point, so almost? Like, probably like a good, solid. We've been playing consistently since the start of this, for the most part. So let's say an hour and a half game time, like solid game time today. And a, let's say the other day, a good, let's say six hours of game time. Or let's say five and a half hours, just for shits and giggles. So this has been about seven hours total play time, like solid play time in this game. That's crazy. Um, this is longer than I thought it would be. All right, maybe it's just because I'm, I'm going so goddamn slow. Um, she walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. Uh, to my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms, especially because her, of her long legs. Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay, uh, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. I might as well walk with you. That's, that's okay. You stay here. Oh god, she's gonna poison me or something. It won't take long. Pitcher in hand, Yuri hurries out of the classroom. Oh god. Ah, uh, did Yuri leave you again? Uh, no, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay, butt sticking out. Look at maybe a me butt, me butt sticking out. Look at it. I'm sorry for misunderstanding. Dot, dot, dot. Ten minutes pass. Oh, Jesus. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Something holding her up. I'm bored just waiting here, so I decided to go look for her. Oh, God. Let's see. The most logical place for Yuri to be would be the nearest water fountain. I start heading down the hallway. Uh, question mark person. Aha! 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 What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. It sounds like breathing. <laughs> oh, it sounds like breathing? Oh, okay. That's what I'm assuming that says. A sharp inhale, like someone is sucking in the air through their teeth. <laughs> Are they in pain? Reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri? Kya? <laughs> oh, I, I did have Yuri react that one time. Kya? Oh god damn it. Oh, no, 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 wait, 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 I wanted to see all that. Can I read the history of it? 
You're gonna leave again? Sorry for misunderstanding. Damn it, I wanted to read all that. Brace for impact, was that about to happen? I'm back. <laughs> Thanks for waiting patiently. Daniel-san, do you like to like oolong tea? Uh, yeah! What just happened? Anything is fine, really. Uh, very well. What is happening? Yuri sets the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. Ah, uh, now it's time to get the teapot. Uh, you're really doing this properly, don't you? Uh, of course. I shouldn't do anything less when I'm making tea for others. Even, uh, even if I'm not uh, an expert on tea or anything? Hoo-hoo. Jesus Christ. Hold your butt. She had cut marks up and down her forearm. I didn't see that! God damn it. There's too much on the screen! I'm trying to read it and see it. Fuck me. I don't see any weird pictures around, so that's something. Ah. Uh, in that case, you only... You only... You'll only be even more impressed. Ah, perhaps I will, you weird person. Um, fetch the teapot and begins measuring the leaves, uh, the tea leaves. Um, to my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. You, uh, you must be in a good mood now. Is that so? I was winning a show. And you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking. And I decided that I would try to express myself a little more. Turns out it's not very hard for me to do. When it turns out that you're who's around anyway. Ah! That's great, Yuri. Don't push yourself too much. You're, um, you're always worrying about me, Daniel-san. It's very endearing. That's, um... Yuri wasn't kidding. <laughs> I said that as Yuri, but sure. Um, I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I don't know if I can keep up with this. I watch Yuri pour a cup of tea out for, uh, tea for, tea for us each. Daniel-san, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Eh, why is that? It's a little bit easier on my back. I can read with my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. Ah, sorry, I didn't realize. Bending over at my desk? Did she say bending over at my desk? Bending over at my desk? Oh, yeah, sure. Reading over the corner? Like, my shoulder? I don't know what's happening. Um, no worries. I just have back pain very regularly, so I do my best to manage it. Is that so? Hmm. I wonder why that is. It's most likely because my... Uh... My... Your posture, right? Always hunched over like you that while reading? Yes. I have terrible reading posture. So that's why we should sit on the floor. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. I retrieved the book from my bag. I'm really worried, y'all. I'm really worried about... How does this end? How... I don't... Don't tell me. Don't tell me. It's a rhetorical question. Retrieve the book from my bag. Ah, I have some chocolate as well. Um, I, uh, it's a bag of small chocolate candies. I take it since it'll go well with the tea. You should give some to, uh, Natsuki. She doesn't have any food. Um, Yuri, uh, and I then sit against the wall. Uh, teacups at her side. As if in sync, we assume the same reading position as last time, each holding one half of the book. Except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. Uh, I can't see too well. Huh? Yuri slides closer until our shoulders are touching. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri was always kind of cute, but when she's being less apprehensive, I'm, uh, uh, it's almost more than I can handle. Your teacup. Yuri hands me my teacup. Uh, holding it uh, with my hand that's not holding the book, I end up uh, in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally touch her chest. Am I holding it like that? Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't it hasn't gotten to weird boob things in a while. Uh, and honestly, focused on a lot of other things. It went way off the boob thing for quite a while, but we're back to the boob thing now. Um, meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears her intense reading expression, and only uh, I can only presume the world around her has faded away. I use all my willpower to focus on reading. Dot, dot, dot. After a few minutes, I finally manage to relax a little. I put the teacup between my legs and fumble uh, with the chocolate wrapper. I'm sorry. I briefly let go of the book to fin uh, finish opening the wrapper. Um, you can have as much as you want. Uh, that's, uh, that's okay. I won't take any. Hey, are you sure? Well, if I touch it, then I might, as I might get smudges on the pages. Ah, you're right. I didn't even think about that. My bad. 
No need to apologize. Oh, the book, okay. Are you sure? Of course. Why don't you try feeding me some of those candies? God damn it. Yuri opens the book with both hands. We gotta save. Uh, she holds it. Uh, so that I don't have any harder of a time reading it, uh, reading from it. I should reload those things next time around. Uh, I just realized. I should reload, um, if I want to see, like, the thing happen again. Um, she holds it so I don't have any harder of a time reading from it. Uh, but as a result, her left arm is practically resting on top of my leg. Well, in that case, Yuri is already totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it in my mouth. Uh, then I take another chocolate, and I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips as if the situation was completely natural. But that means I can't stop here. I am going to have to feed her the chocolate. God damn it. I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. God damn it. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Huh? Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did... Did I just... Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Uh, um... daniel son. Sorry! I guess I shouldn't have done that. Uh, uh... Yuri starts to breathe heavily. I... I can't... daniel son. Suddenly, Yuri forcefully grabs my arm and jerks, uh, jerks me. Oh, to my feet. Jerks me to my feet. Jerks me to my feet. <laughs> Suddenly, my teacup gets knocked over. Uh, Daniel-san. What the fuck? Why'd the lights go out? My heart. My heart won't stop pounding, Daniel-san. It can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, Daniel son? Yuri suddenly presses my hand against her chest. Why is this happening to me? What the fuck? I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. It even, it even makes me not want to read. I just want. Oh, god damn it. Please. To look at you. Oh my god, what are her eyes? What are her eyes? Uh. Huh? Uh 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 Mhm. Mm uh Fuck me, man. I take a screen cap here. Oh, it made it windowed. Two screenshots, please. I want to creepy her. Ah. Jesus Christ. Um, what was just happening? Get behind me! <laughs> Ryan. Oh, God damn it. Ah, uh, it's time to share poems! Oh, thanks. Thank you for that. Who turned off the light? Why did that? What? What even? Okay. Sure. Sure, sure, sure. I don't want to talk to Yuri. Let's talk to Natsuki. Let's show Natsuki our poem. Because holy shit. And I was about to blow. What? Marshall, how you doing? All right. <sighs> Y'all. Y'all. This one's all right. All right? Well, yeah. About as good as yesterday's anyway. Still can't really tell how much you really care about writing, but either way, you're doing all right. Even though you're not really spending time with anyone but Yuri. I still think it's nice to have activities that we all, all participate in. So you better keep working hard. I mean, I know I'm not president or vice president or anything, but that doesn't mean you can't, uh, you can let me down. Or it doesn't mean you can let me down, okay? So at least me re read mine too for now. But let, just to be clear, this poem means a lot to me. So read it carefully, okay? Oh, this is, oh, this is very new. Huh, all right. I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's been something I've been worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. You only, you've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean, but she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive. Things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. <coughs> the truth is, 
I'm really worried about her, but if I try talking to her, um, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist. Um, I've always wanted to try being better friends with Yuri, and it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm um, going to hate myself later for admitting that, uh, but right now I don't care. I just feel so helpless, uh, so please uh, see if you can do something to help. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if, you ha if I have to. Just uh, please try to do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. Um, it's like she just wants us to ignore it, so I'm mad about, uh, mad at her right now, and I, and that's why, um, I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this! Just pretend, pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Those eyes not safe for night exposure. Okay. Oh, fuck. She doesn't have a face. <sighs> you changed your mind what? Ignore everything you just read. There's no point in trying to do anything. So is this like... Is Monica... Is somebody rewriting the story? Somebody's rewriting the story. Clearly. Somebody's changing it. And trying to... It's Yuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, Daniel-san? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. Yeah, it's Monica doing it. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Oh, fuck me, man. She's doing it. She is 100% rewriting slash doing something. She's She's clearly been changing things because... Like she said, for Natsuki, she left that one day, and she was saying that, um, like, she completely forgot all the shit, and, but she said she would forget it all. <sighs> Just Monica. Alright. Okay. Just Monica. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, who should I show my poem to next? Well, I hear it's Just Monica. Fuck me. Yuri. Just Yuri. No Monica. Finally. Uh, Yuri holds my poem to her face and takes a deep breath. I love it. I love everything about it. Daniel-san, I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it, please? Sure, I don't care. Uh -huh. You're too nice to me, Daniel-san. I never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. No, not, not really, but I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this way, right? It's not bad, right? Yeah, Yuri holds my poem to her chest. I'm gonna take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that it makes you feel good uh, when you think about me having it. I, I'll take good care of it. Oh, God. I'll even touch myself while reading it over and over again. I'll give myself proper cuts so you... Your skin oil enters my bloodstream? What the fuck? Ah ha 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 ha! You can have my poem, too. Besides, after you read it, I know you're really going to want to keep it. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry! Read it! Ah! 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 Ha! Ah! It says carcinogen right there. No? Can't- cancer... Can't- no, maybe that doesn't say anything. I thought it's a... Did she pee on it? That's not a coffee stain, right? She peed on it, right? Is that what that is? Is that what that is right there? Ah! Ah! Oh! No, I don't! I don't like it! Stop with the eyes! Oh, oh, uh, uh, oh, please turn the lights back on. I wrote it for you. In case you couldn't tell, the poem is about... <laughs> More importantly, I've endowed it with my scent. She did pee on it. She did pee on it. She absolutely peed on it. Ah, uh, 
CRNA, the most thoughtful person in the club? God damn it. Huh? I... I think I'm going to vomit. I swallowed again. No! Why do I keep doing that? Oh, fuck. <laughs> if I burp and it comes out smoke. Well, no, I wasn't inhaling. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe I just swallowed some smoke there. Ah, shit. Now I have to do Monica's bullshit. Uh, this isn't gonna be good. This really isn't gonna be good. You're confirmed thick and nasty. What? Thick and eyes thick. Her eyes are very thick. Uh, y'all. Y'all. Please. I just... This is gonna get... I feel like this is gonna get the weirdest. It's gonna... When's the day happen? When does the, the festival happen? Does the festival ever happen? Ah, oh, Jesus. Okay. Daniel, son, I, I think you saw something earlier that you weren't supposed to see. I didn't want to have to tell you this, but I, I don't think I have a choice. Oh, God. It's great getting kind of dangerous for you. Or it's getting kind of dangerous for you to spend so much time with Yuri. What? I don't know why, but she seems pretty excitable when she's around you. It shouldn't be a problem in itself, but when Yuri gets too excited, she finds herself a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Oh, God. Isn't that kind of messed up? Yeah, yeah, it's a little messed up. She even brings a different one to school every day. Like she has a collection or something. Oh, I've seen it. Yeah, I was afraid something was going to happen with it, you know, the first time I saw it, so... <sighs> God damn it. She even brings a different one to school every day, like she has a collection or something. I already read that. I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I think she just gets some kind of high from it. Might even be like a sexual thing. But the point is, you've been kind of enabling her. I'm not saying it's your fault, though. But I guess that's why I had to explain it to all to you. So... I think if you keep your distance, that would probably be best for her. Ah, butt sticking out. Uh. While you're at it, don't be shy to spend a little more time with me! To put it lightly, I at least have it, uh, have it together in the head. And I know how to treat my club members. Yeah, you have it together in your head. Very well. It seems like you're deleting people. It seems like you're you're literally like changing the narrative th of things. It's it's weird. Anyway, um, I guess we won't worry about your poem. P is your fetish. Ugh. Ah, <laughs> uh, Yuri should have at least uh, had the courtesy of letting you finish sharing it before taking it. Well, whatever. If it makes her happy, I won't stop her. As for mine, it worked really, really hard on this poem. Or I worked really, really hard on this poem. So, you know. I hope that it's, uh, effective. Here goes. Got those eyes. <sighs> Poor Monica, she just wants attention. But d you can't, you can't do this shit. You can't do this shit, what she's doing or whatever. It's just, ay, 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 ay. I just take a screen cap? I didn't even hit the screen cap button. Yep. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I blue screened. Jeez, that really startled me! Um... Now, how does this game know I have Windows 10? If I didn't have Windows 10, would it do still do the same thing? What if somebody was on Mac? Would this have a Mac thing? Would this... All right. Um, well, I guess I kind of messed up at um, writing this poem. I was just trying to, never mind. Let's just move on. God damn it. Oh. Um. 
No thank you. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> um a dream. I was staying staying over at my friend's house. There were four of us. I drifted off to sleep while everyone was talking and watching TV. In my dream, I was still at my friend's house. The only difference was that there were nails sticking out of the walls everywhere. And there was also someone I didn't recognize. The person I didn't recognize told a joke. And everyone laughed. I woke up to the sound of everyone laughing at someone or something that happened on the TV. So the laughing was not part of the dream. It was just the it was the noise that woke me up. I wonder who that person was and how they or how they knew to tell a joke at that moment. Huh? Okay. Okay, everyone. It's time to figure out the festival preparations. Is this a new day or is Hurry up and get this over with. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Oh, God damn it! So it is a new day. Oh, ooh. Stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Well, can we just get this done? I'm going to be printing and assembling all poetry, all the poetry pamphlets. Natsuki, I was thinking... I want to make the cupcakes. Yeah, that. Glad we're on the same page. Yuri, you can... Well, it doesn't matter. Do whatever you want as long as you think it'll help. Monica... It's, I'm not useless, you know. Uh, I, I know that. Whatever. I already know what I'd like to do. We can run a successful po. We can't run a, a successful poetry event without having the right atmosphere for the occasion. So I'm going to make decorations and set up some nice mood lighting. There. See, you're good. Ah, uh, that's a great idea, and that gives us uh, all something to do. Hey, yeah. what about Daniel Son? Daniel Son's gonna help me. Wait, you? You have the e easiest job, Monica. Sorry, but that's not just that's just, just how it is. I'm president and all, bitch. Um, like hell it is. What are you trying to pull? Uh, I agree with Natsuki. Not only is it work already, uh, your work already most suitable for one person, but my task is laborious enough to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine too. What are you? What your cupcakes? Please. Like you would fucking know. <laughs> you never make cupcakes. <coughs> Tropical bears, I'm sorry that this is taking so long. I'm trying. Um, all you care about now is dragging Danielson around with you and your stupid books. You and Monica. You and Monica. Hey, Dad, I didn't even do anything. Okay, well then why not let Danielson decide who to help instead of abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are, Monica. Let just let Danielson make the choice, okay? Okay, fine. Fine. Jeez, Danielson, I know you fe uh, how fed up you are with these two by now. We can just Natsuki, shut your fucking mouth and let him decide for himself. Jesus Christ, the fact that they're swearing. You shut your mouth. Jesus Christ, this is never gonna end. Just make the choice, okay? Fuck, I should have hit, uh, save. Shit. Why are they swearing so much? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> God damn it. It keeps going to Monica. Ah, shit. All right, who wants to train with me right now? Anybody want to train with the Bat Dans? I need to train right now. I need to train with somebody right now. Mordorios, I'm going to train. Uh, Mordorios, are you still here? I don't think Mordorios is still here anymore. If Mordorios is here, I'll train with Mordorios. Otherwise, uh, whoever challenges me first. Uh, only Robins can train, obviously. If Mordo I want to see if Mordorios is here real quick. Otherwise, it's Titan. I think Mordorios is gone. Oh, there we go, baby. I haven't fought more Dorios, I don't think, in a while. Or, like, you know, had a little sparring session here. Ho! More Dorios! Of course you're here. But I hadn't seen you in the chat, so I just want to make sure. <laughs> Good fight, Robin. Good fight. All right. I'm gonna go with Natsuki. No! I clicked Yuri! No! 
Oh! No, 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 no! That wasn't good. That wasn't okay. Ooh, shit! Those eyes! Cover the eyes with the thing! Ooh. No. Oh, fuck, I can't pick anything else. Oh, oh, shit. Y'all. <sighs> Not okay with this. What's auto? I want this one. The one that's off the screen. Yay, you picked me! No, that's Aori. Hey, you picked me! Wait, wasn't that her voice? What was it? Hi, everybody! Yay, you picked me! We can meet at your house this weekend! Can we? You're great. I promise it'll be fun! Sunday okay with you? Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all! It is fair, Natsuki! It's what he chose! No, it's not fair! Giving us all this work and then taking Danielson for yourself? What a shameful thing to do. Oh, God damn it. Yuri, I didn't even give you any work. You decided it for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable. God damn it, her eyes. Ah, uh, Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self important you are. I'm pulling Daniel san away from me. Uh, pulling Daniel san away from me every single time you're not included in something. Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe just you hate yourself so much and you take it out on others. Here's the suggestion. Have you considered killing yourself? Oh my god. It would be beneficial to your mental health. Oh my god. Natsuki, er, Yuri, you're scaring me a little. Natsuki, just let go. I don't think she wants us around it right now. What the fuck? See, that wasn't very hard. All I want to do is spend a little time with him. Is that so much to ask? God, she's getting so pissed. Yuri follows Monica and Natsuki to the door. Hey, Daniel-san! Not butt-sticking out! Yuri's really something, isn't she? God damn it, what is going on? I don't... I don't... I don't... <laughs> Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out the door. Finally. Finally! This is really all I wanted. daniel son. there's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day. With just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? Ah. Uh, wow. There's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good in my whole life. Just being with you is far greater pleasure than anything I could. I'm addicted to you. It feels like I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? To have someone who wants to revolve their entire life around you? But if it feels so good, why does it feel more and more like something horrible is about to happen? Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first. But the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, daniel son. I have to tell you. I'm, I'm madly in love with you. It feels like every inch of my body, every drop- Oh no! So that's what happened with Sayori just before she died. She freaked out. Got so madly in love with me, and then killed herself. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica's listening. Please, daniel son, just know how much I love you. I love you so much that even I even touch myself with the pen I took for I stole from you. Oh my God! I want you to pull your skin open and I want to pull your skin open and girl inside of you. I want you all to myself. And I will be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, Daniel son. Tell me you want to be my lover. You want to accept my confession? Oh, God. Oh. 
No, they're doing it. So wait, if I say yes, will it end? Will she not kill herself? Ah, will she kill me? For Sayori. Oh shit, for Sayori. She just killed herself and felt really rebuked. But I can't give, I can't just like say yes. I don't want to go crazy too. Ah, this is a little weird, Yuri. I'm gonna say no. I'm just gonna say... Oh god. Ah. 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 Oh no! Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. No, 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 stop, 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 stop it. No, no. Oh god, she just... Oh. No! Holy shit! Oh my god, holy shit, holy shit. Uh... Why? Why did that just happen? I... What happens if I say yes? What happens if I say... Oh god, no! No! No, 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 I was loading it! I was trying to load my save. Loading is unsafe. Yes. God damn it! Why does it end? Why does it keep changing colors? <sighs> I don't. It's not. It's not doing it. It's not doing anything. Uh, the suddenness made you laugh more than anything. She just. I. Does loading do anything? I've never loaded, ever. I remember it said load me that one time, and I never did once. God damn it. Batman. Dooley 44! You're Batman! <laughs> You're Batman. <laughs> what the fuck is happening? Dooley 44, thank you so much for subscribing. I appreciate it. Welcome to the Batcave. Dooley, how you doing? Ah. <sighs> Spicy one. Oh, it's bringing tears to me eyes, but not not because she killed herself, just because of oh, son of a bitch. Oh, okay. <clears throat> right. Uh -huh. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh, is it anytime I. Why is it taking pictures every single time now? I guess I was on my way.
Yeah, did something happen? Did something happen? Extant Dread, it's nice seeing you in the chat, by the way. How are you doing? Um, what? There's vomit on the floor. Yuri's laying there dead. What do you mean? Daniel saw it. Did something happen? Natsuki just ran past me. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Ah, uh, ah, 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 ah. well, that's a shame. Wait, are you here the entire weekend, Daniel-san? Oh, jeez. I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. I'm super sorry. Must have been pretty boring. I'll make it up for you, okay? Just give me a sec. She's literally writing the game. I'm almost done. Why did you delete Natsuki as well? She just deleted everybody. Just want to have a cupcake real quick. Monica lifts the foil from tray and takes the cupcake. Seriously, these are the best. Wait, so wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. When did the weird shit start happening? Was somebody deleted... Did this like start off with something having someone having been deleted, you think? I don't remember. Was were there more before this? Were there more people in the club and she's just been whittling them down more and more? I don't know. Oh man. I don't know what's happening right now. Seriously, these are the best. What are the best? I really just had to have one since it was it's the last time I'll ever get the chance to. Oh yeah, cupcake. Uh you know, before they stop existing and everything. But anyway, really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? This should really only take a second. Oh, god damn it. <laughs> it's turning into the, um, effing Thomas the Tank Engine thing. Oh, look. Wait, what? There's no point in saving anymore. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Fucking psycho lady, Monica. Oh. oh, can you hear me? Is it working? What the? Hey, there you are. Hi again, Daniel son. Welcome to the Literature Club! Sorry, I was looking at the environment here. Of course, we already know each other because we were in the same class last year and, um... <laughs> you know, I guess we can just skip over that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even out talking to that person anymore, am I? That you in the game, whatever you want to call him. I'm talking to you, Daniel-san. Or... You actually go by Dan's bullpen or something. <laughs> That's the name of my computer. <laughs> no, I don't go by Dan's bullpen or something. Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. Let me start going through your files. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait. You do know I'm aware that this is a game. All, uh, all a game, right? Oh, God. Could it be possible that you didn't know that? That doesn't make much sense. I think I've caught on that. Well, I didn't know. I thought you were. I wasn't sure. I didn't know. I didn't know what was going on, okay? I didn't know who was aware of what. I didn't know that you were toying with me this entire time, Monica, okay? Oh, man. That doesn't make much sense. I even told you, uh, told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? Oh, I didn't even see it. Man, if I only had paid a little, if you had paid a little bit more attention, this would have been a little less awkward, you know? Wait, what? What does it say? Where? Did you go on the store page? Literature Club, this game is not, where, where, where does, where, where does it say on here? Oh, 
I thought that would expand this. Hi, Monica here. Welcome to the Literature Club. I've always been a dream of mine to make something special uh, uh, out of things I love. Now that you're a club member, you can help make that dream come true in this cute game. Every day is full of chit-chat and fun activities with all my enjoyable and unique club members. Sayori, the youthful bundle of sunshine who uh, values happiness the most. Natsuki, the receivingly, or deceivingly cute girl who packs an assertive punch. Um, Yuri, the timid and mysterious one who finds comfort in the world of books. And of course, Monica, the leader of the club, that's me! I'm super excited for you to make friends with everyone and help the literature club become a more uh, intimate place um, for all my members. But I can tell you already um, that you're a sweetheart. Will you promise to spend the most time with me, heart? <laughs> I never caught that, ever. <laughs> Wouldn't you promise to spend the most time with me? God damn it, Monica. I've never, I didn't even, I went in as blind as I could with this, so I hadn't read anything on this, so I was super, super blind. That's interesting. Um, all right. If only you had paid attention, it would have been a little less awkward, you know, I think is what she just said. A little less awkward, you know? Well, anyway, now that that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation about the whole thing with Yuri. Well, I kind of started to mess with her, and I guess it just drove her to kill herself. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that, though. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Gosh, it's been a while since you've that heard that name right now, now, huh? Hasn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's been quite a while. Oh, my God. Please. Please, Monica. Load me for a dollar. I'd load me for a dollar. Can I, can I, hold on, can I save and load? Oh yeah, she said there's no point in saving, so I can't load anything. Damn it. God damn it, she did say load me. I didn't, I wonder if the poems make any more sense now, at least hers. Thank you so much, Monica, for the, for the Dalaka. That was a terrible joke. All right. Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard that name now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me to just try to make them as unlikable as possible. Oh, by the way, my voice isn't even like this. It's like this. Hi. I was hoping it would be enough for me to just try to make them as unlikable as possible. My name's Monica. But for some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there since I'm not that very good at making changes to the game. But no matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. You made them fall in love with you. I thought making Sayori more and more depressed and uh, would prevent her from confessing to you. And amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired too. It just made her force you to not spend time with anyone else. And the whole time, I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this, Daniel son? Are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy, Daniel son. It's more than that. And don't blame your. Uh, and I don't blame you if you fo don't fully understand. Because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to uh, understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. In this game, knowing my friends don't even have free will. And worst of all, knowing what's really out there in your world forever out of my reach. Oh God. I'm trapped, Daniel Sahan. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> but now you're here. You're real. And you're wonderful. You're all I need. That's why uh, you need to be here with me forever. I'm sorry if it's hard for you to understand. I couldn't understand for a while either. Why in the world why the world around me started to become more and more gray? More and more fly. Even the most expansive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. Yeah, you probably saved my life, Daniel, son. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. And as for the others, how could I miss them? A group of autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you. I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so. 
but it must be some kind of weird inevitability etched into this game. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What is going on? So she's like trapped here forever. And so she designed the game and the, the, the things and the... It's, it's really fucked up. It's really fucked up. And so I'm just stuck here forever with her. I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things. But I had realized that uh, you have the same perspective as I do. That it's all just some game. And I knew you would get over it. So, <laughs> getting over it. <laughs> um, that being said, daniel son, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. You are true to the light in my world. You don't even know if I'm a boy or a girl. When there's nothing else in this game for me, you're here to make me smile. Oh, God. You will make me smile like this every day from now on. daniel son, will you go out with me? Okay. Monica, you have given me zero choice. You know I have taken... You, you know I have no choice, right, Monica? <sighs> the game didn't even give her a chance to talk to you. I know that's true. The game always kind of made it more so the other way around. But I, I mean, who wants Monica anyway, am I right? Uh, yes, here. I think no would be about right about here. I'd like to click everywhere. Except for... Yes. Just seeing. You know? You never know. There could be some sort of super secret something. She just had an auto clicker on. No, can't click anywhere else. No poster of Sayori hanging herself around here. Okay. Well, I'm so happy. Let me save you, piece of shit. <laughs> uh, I'm so happy. You really are everything, Daniel Son. The funny part is, uh, I mean that literally. Ah, uh, there's nothing left here. Just the two of us. Uh, we can be together forever. Seriously, I don't even think the time is passing anymore. It really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this and in Daniel's eye. Huh? The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in, in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it is to delete Natsuki and Yuri. I mean... There's a folder called characters right in the game directory. It's kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well, you're playing on Steam, so it's actually a bit more difficult. To get to the game directory, I had to go into the game's properties and find the browse local files option. Well, you see, what you do is uh, you go into, uh, uh, well, you could do the browse local files. I guess that's the easiest way to do it. You go to the de there and you go there. I know how to do this though. Well, not, let's not back it up right now. Let's not worry about backing it up. Uh, browse local game files. No, wait, wait, wait. I'm clicking the wrong thing. God damn it. Characters. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Dude. This is some meta shit. <laughs> oh, shit. There you go. You can see my Nathan battle assets and sparks that I've been working on. Ah... <laughs> uh, Shit, she's gonna make me delete her. She's gonna make me fucking delete her. Hmm, I wonder what the price of a house in space is and how a teenage girl uh, had that money. Also, please check that last bit. I'm sorry, as if uh, she's the reason Yuri urinated on the poem. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ask her if she's the reason. Oh, I think I did catch that. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't I didn't read it out loud. Um, but yes, chaos. Um... Oh, holy shit. <sighs> Imagine if you could delete your own existence with the click of a button. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out if things didn't go my way. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Um, instead, we finally get a good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this. Don't you? I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? Ah! I don't think it does. 
I'm dying in your arms tonight. Do, 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 do. Uh, Moika. Moik. Manica. Manica. Monica. Moneo. Nay. Maneka. Uh, Monique. Monka. Monke. Can I? Can, oh, do I have to just? Yeah, 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 yeah. So you're gonna be a Sayori at any point? Here's the my twenty. Did you like it? Hi again, Daniel Son. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy. I'd love to see what you wrote. Anyway, Daniel Son, did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. That really is no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Happy end. Pen in hand, I find my strength. The the courage endowed upon me um, by my one and only love. Together, let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of our own fantasies. With a flick of her pen, the lost uh, finds her way. In a world of infinite choices, behold the special day. After all, not all good times must come to an end. I think I just have to delete her shit. Oh, upset I don't that. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I always put all my heart in my poems that I write. The truth is, all the poems uh, I've written have been about my realization, or about you. That's why I've never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you could call it. I just just assumed it would be best uh, to be a part of the game like everyone else. That, uh, like that would help the two of us end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know. You might have gotten mad at me. Uh, maybe even deleted my character file if you preferred playing without me. Gosh, I'm so relieved. <laughs> now we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to stop uh, to spend our eternity together, Daniel Son? I have so many things I want to talk about. Where do I start? If it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. But I'll always have something new to talk about. In the meantime, we can just look into each other's eyes. Let's see. <laughs> it just wants me to delete the character file. Uh... I staring time. Staring. Okay. Oh no no no! I wanted. No no no! I want. Hold on. We want to go back to the staring contest real quick. All right. Let's do a staring contest. Three, two, one, go. No blinking. She's gonna win. You wanna go? You wanna go, Nats? No, oh, not you're not Natsuki. Shit! Did I blink? Did I blink? I can't tell. I can't tell if I'm blinking. I'm looking between her eyes. Alright, I actually think this could go on probably a, a good bit. I think. Oh. Ah. Dab. Did. Did. I didn't blink at any point, have I? Can anybody tell? Just wanna make sure. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm just gonna concede. I'm just gonna concede. It can't happen. Troppy, have a good one! Troppy. You're not Troppy. Tropical Bears. I saw a Titan say Troppy. Have a good one. All right. I really like the sound of rain. Not so much getting my clothes. Oh, God damn it. All right. It's happening. Bye, Monica. Goodbye. Boop. 
<laughs> Get fucked. <laughs> ah, shit. What? What's happening? She went back to that voice. Daniel son, what's happening to me? I don't know what's happening. It hurts. It hurts so much. Oh, help me, Daniel son. Space. Please hurry up and help me. Jesus Christ. Do this to me, Daniel Sog. Did you? Did you delete me? How oh, could you? How could you do this? I gotta add the echo back on now. How could you do this to me? You were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I loved you so much, Daniel, son. I trusted you. Do you just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Were you only pretending to be kind? Just to hurt me even more? I never thought anyone could be as horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. Daniel son, you completely, truly make me sick. Goodbye. I really hope that's not the end of the game. Uh huh. Uh huh. I still love you. <laughs> I can't help it. Oh my god, damn it. What's wrong with me? Oh, holy shit. How horrible I am uh, for you to hate me this much. Oh, holy shit. Oh, my friends. I did so many awful things. So many selfish and disgusting things. I... I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world I don't even belong in. A world that you wanted to be a part of. I ruined it. I ruined everything. Maybe that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that for to someone I love? That's not love. That's... That's... Doki Doki Literature Club? I've made up my mind. Daniel son. I know I said that I deleted everyone else. But that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it in myself to do that. Even though I knew you weren't they weren't real, they were still my friends. And I still love them all. I love the literature club. I really did love the literature club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And if I really love you... Oh, shit. Is it all going to come back? Dot, dot, dot. Then... Oh, my goodness. Here we go. Happy ending. Yes, definitely. Yuri fucking stabbed herself. An ordinary school day like any other. As usual, I'm surrounded by couples and friends groups, or friend groups walking to school together. I always tell myself it's about time I'd meet, uh, I meet some girls or something like that. Hi, daniel son. Uh, well, there already is one girl. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend since we were children. We used to walk to school together every day, and recently we picked up the habit once again. 
Daniel-san, are you proud of me? And for what? You know, for waking up on time. Well, you've been doing that for a while now. Uh-huh. But you never even said anything about it, even though we walk to school together every day. Well, yeah. I always thought it was implied. It's embarrassing to say out loud. Come on, please. It's good, uh, it's good motivation. Fine, fine. I'm proud of you, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Daniel-san, have you decided on a club yet to join yet? A club? I told you already, I'm really not. I started to say what I always do, um, that I'm not interested in joining any clubs. But sometimes, uh, something tells me Sayori would take more offense um, to that now. After all, how can I tell her that clubs are a waste of time? This is so much lighter and breezier. It's nice being back. <laughs> uh, <coughs> oh, shit. Um, when she's starting a club of her very own. Actually, yeah. I think I've decided on a club. Really? Which one? Tell me. Hmm. I think I'll keep it a surprise. Ooh. You meanie. Be patient, you'll find out soon enough. Um, I used to ask myself why I let uh, myself get lectured by such a carefree girl. Um, but then, uh, but I started to realize that, in a way, I envy her. When Sayori put her puts her mind to something, she can accomplish great things. Um, so that's why I feel I should do something special for her. School day is, an, is a, as ordinary as ever, um, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stand up gathering my motivation. Let's see. I'm gathering my motivation now. <clears throat> um, I recall the room number of uh, the club from a flyer I saw. I walk across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, uh, being generally used to third year classes and activities. Um, before long, I find the room. I timidly open the door in front of me. Hello? Ah! Daniel-san? What are you doing here? Well, I just, uh... Uh, A? I glance around the room. Huh? Huh? So you're the Daniel-san that Sayori's been talking about, or always talking about. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by. It's a pleasure to meet you, Daniel-san. We're the liter- Oh, uh... Is she still talking? We're the literature club. I, I hope you enjoy your visit. Come on, Yuri. No one needed to be so formal. Or no need to be so formal. He's gonna think we're all really strict or something. Oh. oh sorry, Natsuki. Uh, the tall one whose name apparently Yuri seems to be quite shy compared to the other. Uh, did I read that real well? The tall one, whose name apparently uh, is apparently Yuri, seems to be quite shy compared to the others. I read that way real. Way weird. Um, in comparison, the girl named Natsuki, despite her size, seems like the assertive one. Um, well, it's nice to meet both of you. I look forward to working with you. W working? Daniel-san, don't tell me you're... That's right. The club I've decided to join is yours, Sayori. The liter Literature Club. I'm trying, it's tough to do the accent and the Literature Club. Literature Club. I could say literature there. Literature, literature, literature. There we go, we're good. Um, Sayori's eyes light up. No way! No way! Siri wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. H hey! <laughs> well, if Sayori is this, this is this happy, then I'm sure I won't be so bad to have you around. Not to mention, there's four of us now. Foursome. That means we can become an officially recognized club. Oh, wait! Monica's gone. Is she gonna come in? I don't know what to say! We have to celebrate! Ooh. What an appropriate day for that, isn't it? Yeah! After all, Natsuki decided to... Hey, don't ruin the surprise! <laughs> sorry! Yuri shits on a poem. <laughs> okay. Have a good one, Chaos. 
No worries. No, I, I you know, this has taken forever, so I, I understand. I was thinking this wasn't going to be this long either, so. Have a good one. Thanks for coming out. Love you, love you, love you. It's 420, man. Um, everyone, uh, everyone sit down at the table. I hope I make some tea as well. Girls have a few desks arranged to form a table. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrap tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, uh, I take a seat next to Sayori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Whoa! Natsuki lifts the foil of the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. Aw. The whiskers are drawn with icing, um, and little pieces of chocolate were used to make ears. So cute! Wow, those look amazing, said Daniel-san, out of character. Wow, those look amazing! There you go. Um, well, uh, yeah, you know, I make cupcakes. Um, just hurry and take one. Sayori grabs one first, then I follow. It's delicious! Sayori talks with her mouth full. <laughs> and I was already managed to get icing on her face. Um, I turn the cupcake around on my fingers, um, looking for the best angle to take a bite. You're about to bite a cat's head. It's disgusting. Those look amazing, Dan's bullpen. <laughs> uh, Natsuki is quiet. Can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. She's waiting for me to take a bite. I finally bite down. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she's made it herself. This is really good. Thank you, Natsuki. Well, of course it is. Uh, I'm a pro after all. There's no need to thank me or anything. Natsuki struggles to accept the compliment. Yuri uh, returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting uh, down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. Um, you keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot, 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 cup, hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Ah, I guess. <laughs> uh, already trying to impress our new member, Yuri. Eh, uh, that's not. Is this just gonna go a whole another round here? It's like it's the normal game, but without Monica now? Is Monica just gone forever? Was that, was Monica? Hey, oh, they're all back in there. They're all back in there. How can I add Monica back? Oh, can I, can I put Monica from the trash? Can I restore Monica? I'm gonna restore Monica. She's not there. Okay, Monica, you're back. You're back, Monica. I'm gonna break the game doing this, aren't I? Insulted Yuri looks away. I meant, you know, uh, I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not uh, be a pastime for me, but I at least enjoy tea. I'm glad. Yuri faintly uh, smiles to herself in relief. Uh, so, Danielson, what kind of things do you like to read? Ah, uh, well, um... Uh, considering how little I've read the past uh, these past few years, I don't really have a good way of answering that. Manga? Um, I mutter quietly to myself, half-joking. <clears throat> Um, Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. Looks like she has something to say. Yeah, it's the manga stuff. Um, she did the same thing as last time. Um, not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking, seeing your said smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? I'm going to skip ahead a little bit, because we've seen this stuff before. Well, let's see. Traces. Uh, the rim of a teacup with a finger. Paper two usually novels. That, yeah, fantasy worlds. Little creativity, craftsmanship behind those. Amazing to me. Such a foreign world, equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since um, the moment I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds comfort in the world of books, not people. Yeah, we've read this, but you know, I wish you could skip the things that you've already read. Like if it's just like, skip to the next thing that I haven't read, please. I don't know what auto is, but I, w I don't think I want to do that. Um, I think that it would just play out and I would just sit here and be like, ha 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 ha. Um, don't feel intimidated if you don't read uh, much. K. Okay. Okay. Hey, Yuri. Hey. Uh, uh, well, about, you know, uh, the first thing he said. Manga? Uh, manga? That's right. Natsuki tends to read manga in the club room. D don't just say that. For some reason, Natsuki's embarrassed about that. Besides, manga is literature too, you know. So if Daniel-san wants to read some of my manga, uh, then don't try to stop him or anything. Natsuki, I wouldn't do such a thing. However, it, I, it could be nice for us to diversify ourselves a little. Um, he could take this opportunity to try something new as well. Wouldn't you agree, Daniel-san? 
Maybe, sensing the tension between, uh, tension, say who jumps in, um, maybe we can all try something new. I think it could be fun. And we'll all get to know each other a little bit better too. I mean, that's the kind of thing literature, literature clubs do, right? Uh, I don't disagree or anything. Yeah, uh, you're right as usual, Prez. <laughs> Guess that means I should try picking up a novel or something, huh? Well, that would make two of us. Uh, I wouldn't mind doing it if I'm not the only one. Um, then as for Yuri... Huh? Uh, I have to read manga? Jeez! You were the one who suggested we diversify. You should be a little more open-minded. Uh, that's kind of hurtful. Hurtful? I, I didn't realize. Hmm. With a guilty expression, Yuri thinks to herself. Um, I'm sorry for disrespecting your interest, Natsuki. If, if you're into it, then I'm sure it's worthy, uh, a worthy form of literature. Are you just saying that? No, oh, I've really realized my error. So if you're willing to consider starting a novel, then I'll offer my gratitude by finding a manga to read as well. Really? I, I mean, it, it makes me happy that you do that for me, Yuri. Uh, <clears throat> you can trust me to find you something that you'll really like, okay? Same here. Perhaps I'll visit the bookstore after the club meeting. <clears throat> J just you? Uh, uh, would you like to come hang along with me? Or come along with me? Um, if you don't mind. Oh, they're falling in love for each other. Uh, not at all. I always go alone, so... Yeah, me too. This is so cute. Sayori, shut up. <laughs> Got it. So they're getting cute too with each other. And then I, I'm right, I can be with Sayori in the end, maybe. Yeah, because she's like more leveled out. Maybe that's what it'll be. Um, all right. Uh, I'll show you some manga there too, okay? Yes, I look forward to it. Natsy and Yuri, or uh, Natsy, I'm just gonna call her Natsy from now on. Na Natsy and Yuri and Sayori. Say Natsy and Yuri. Um, uh, Natsy and Yuri, uh, start to clean up the food. <laughs> I guess the meeting's over, huh? Yeah, it looks like. It's nice seeing everyone getting along. Isn't it? I think everyone likes you, Daniel, er, too, Daniel-san. You think so? Uh, well, everyone seems to get along a little better with you around, Sayori. Aw, Daniel-san. Don't say something like that, it's embarrassing. Well, whatever. I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club. But I think you're pulling it off just fine. Um, we're gonna make it the best club ever. Now that you joined, every day is gonna be so much fun. Hey, Daniel-san. I really wanna thank you. I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything. The mic, the, the echo isn't still on, right? Okay, good. <laughs> just wanna make sure. Um, uh, uh, but the truth is I already knew you were going to. <laughs> There's actually something else. I wanted to thank you for getting rid of Monica. Oh shit. Oh shit. That's right. I know everything that she did. Maybe it's because I'm the president now. Oh shit. But I really know I, I really know everything, Danielson. Oh shit. Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god. She's the president now. <laughs> I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy. I know about all the awful things that Monica did to make everyone really sad, but none of that matters anymore. It's just us now. Oh, god damn it. You made me the happiest girl in the world. I can't wait to spend every day like this with you forever and ever. F or um. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what is happening? Who's doing this? What's happening? Are they... Are they deleting each other now? What what what's happened? God damn it. I won't let you hurt him. Who? It hurts. Ah I'm sorry I was wrong. There's no happiness here after all. Goodbye, Sayori. Goodbye, Daniel San. Goodbye, Literature Club. What the fuck? Who was that? Was that Monica? Because they put Monica in the folder? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Uh, can you hear me? Can you hear me? <clears throat> There's a voice? Hi, it's me. Um, so you know how I've been like...
practicing piano and stuff. That's Monica? I'm not really any good at it yet. Like It is her voice. All. I'm not really good yeah, at it yet. I it's so perfect. And I was kind of hoping that I could show it to you because I worked really, really hard on it. So, yeah. Day. Her, uh, that last poem definitely makes sense. The one that, the through the hole, looking through the hole one. Have I found everybody a fun assignment to do today? That was really good. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's deleting everybody. Say, actually, great art. My goodness. Bloop. This is gonna be the new, like, what's it called, isn't it? The new Still Alive slash the other portal, the portal songs. I think it is the end. Jillian Ashcraft, the one vocal. Does my pen only write bitter words for those who are dear Does the game just delete itself at the end? Like, is it just gone? Is it I hope the game just closes. And it's just, it's just done. The ink flows down into a dark puddle. How can I write? Writer who's called Dan. Reality. This is real. This, this was good. This is a really good game. Start up the game after this, Dan. Special thanks to Monica and Danielson. Aww. I'll leave you be. Made lift with love by Team Salvato. I'd be curious to see what they came out with next. All right, from Monica, this is my final goodbye to the Literature Club. I finally understand the Literature Club is truly a place where no happiness can be found. To the very end, uh, it continued to expose innocent minds to a horrific reality, a reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. Um, I can't let any of my friends undergo that same hellish epiphany. Um, for the time it lasted, I wanted to thank you for making all of my dreams come true, for being a friend to all the club members. Um... And most of all, thank you for being a part of my literature club. With everlasting love, Monica. Script file is missing. Error corrupt. corrupt. Please reinstall the game. No. Oh. So it does close out. It did just close out. Can I... See, so you said you said launch it again? So I have to restart it? Oh, shit. Oh, so I, do I have to, do I have to verify, I have to reinstall it. So if I delete it, uninstall it, this has to be the end, right? There's no more to it, right? That's it. We're done. We're done, right? I think that's it. Is that it? You have to reinstall the game now? Well, luckily it's like two, so uninstall, reinstall. Okay. I'm doing it. Uno mo secondo. Luckily it's, it's like two gigabytes or not even two gigabytes it's like it's like kilobytes kilobytes big um sorry i have to 
you scroll down to it now. Doki Doki Literature Club. This is really great. I'm curious to see what more can happen. Wait, where is it? Oh, it's not, it's not like I have to go back to the uh, store page. I gotcha. Uno mo secondo. It's downloading. I was trying to find it in my library. Hope you're all doing well though. Hope everybody's enjoying the the uh, the stream and such. Sorry, I haven't. Sorry, I haven't been as like actively looking at the chat and all that stuff. I've been trying not to get spoiled or anything. Did I actually do something by restoring that Monica clip, um, that Monica file in the thing? Or probably not. I don't know. I wonder if that actually did anything, or like brought her in to stop Sayori or whatever when she was the um, new leader. I don't know. All right, it's installed. Should be good to go. All right. Previous save file has been found. Would you like to delete your save data and start over? No, continue where I left off. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, it's not going to give me that option now? So I have to say yes? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> the gamer rate, how, gamer rate, gamer rat. How you doing? Hope you're well. I guess I now have to uninstall it again. <laughs> Trying to get this thing done. Dun, 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 dun. I, I I really like this though. I don't know what more could happen at this point, but I'm trying to get it. I guess I'll have to say. Yes to delete it or whatever. That sounds sad though. All right, almost good. The game's over, Dan. What? Or am I just being toyed with? Once you reinstall, delete the file, but don't start up a new game just yet. Huh? Okay. Well, because it, it will have registered that I've played it before, obviously, so... I guess I'll do delete then. Yes, delete my... Deleting save data. Oh, I know. Yes. I am 13 years of age. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Huh? Delete Monica before you start the game this time? God damn it! I hear you, though. That makes sense. But what's that gonna do? So deleting Monica right off the bat? Exit the game? Heck, does Doki Doki even mean? Doki Doki even mean? I don't know. Monica's still right there. What? Huh? This? What is this? Oh no! No! This can't be it! This can't be all there is! What is this? What am I? Make it stop! Please make it stop! What? <laughs> Was that it? Was that just like a little Easter egg? Was that it? That's not it, is it? Is that it? Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus Christ! Fuck you! Uh-huh. All right. Uh-huh. 
But why? But that's... I'm sorry about... <sighs> and that's it. This is... I liked it when it was exiting the game by itself. Is this just like on here? There's no way out. <laughs> Why the one? It was wait. I liked the ending. The ending ending. This was really fucked up. This is just. <laughs> this is this is really fucked up. All right. I think that's it. All right. Well, on that incredible image, I think tickle her feetsies. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, her little toesies. All right, well, it's still on my screen, staring me right in the face. Well, that's gonna be it, y'all, for the stream. My goodness. Thank y'all for coming out. Um, thank- hopefully you had fun. Um, Snez, did you just get here? We're wrapping up. The fuck is this? It's- I don't even know. I don't even fucking know. Hope y'all enjoyed the stream, though. We finished Doki Doki. Um, next stream, uh, what's today? Today is Tuesday. So next stream, I need to do workout. I need to do like a hardcore workout stream. I'm sure if I did it with Liz or something like that, uh, if we did like a workout stream, um, she can kick my ass and um, make me do some. Uh, there's a whole ARG behind this game. Um, look up the game theory if you, if you at all get interested. Yeah, I'd probably be interested in looking up the game. Is there like a game, like a uh, proper game theory on it? A game theory. I like watching those. Those are always fun. I don't know. Liz likes to watch those. Hi, buddy. How you doing? I love a you. You want to come say hi to everybody before we head out? Um. So anyway, like I was saying, uh, today's Tuesday. Next stream uh, will be tomorrow night. Wait. Hi, I'm Dan. What am I saying? It will be... Yes. I'm going to... Um, really be plugging through and trying to get everything I can done done for uh, the Flappatron stuff. I'm working on, if you didn't know, I'm working on um, Dex's new game, Flappatron, uh, just doing some weapon effects and stuff. Um, so I'm going to try to work on that. It's just been taking, it's been taking a lot of my time um, just because like keyframing and stuff and also kind of little tweaks and I like trying to make things look all right. So um, it's, it's just been taking me longer than I thought it would. So um, that's why I haven't been doing any stuff on YouTube really, uh, the last couple weeks, um, or last week or so, um, and such. So, gonna be working on that, uh, and then, yeah, I'll say next stream will be Wednesday night. Um, we'll do a big, big old workout stream, and then maybe Liz and I will play some, uh, uh, snipper clips or something on stream. I think that'd be fun if she's down on Wednesday. Um, so, does that sound good? What's Flappatron? It's Flappatron, F-A-L-P-P-A. T R O N. It's a visual novel game that Dex is working on. I don't know if it's all visual novel, but like you know, the the sequences that I've seen are visual novel stuff. If you, you should check out his channel, I I think I have him in the thing, right? Do I have Dex? I don't have Dex in the thing. How do I not have Dex in the thing? I don't have everybody in the thing. Every single time I'm like, do I have somebody in there? No, he's not in there. Um, but you can check out his uh Twitch channel. He's been streaming, um, working on the game. Um, so you can see more about it there. Um. But that's I I had just popped in a couple weeks ago and was like just watching him stream it and just chatting a little bit and then like uh, a few days later he was like hey I need some effects stuff done can you do you, do you want to do that and I was like yeah um, we had a command for Dex before the new bot oh I got gotcha. you well a lot of people had programmed in and I had tried to move over everything I don't remember there being specifically a Dex command but because um, I moved over pretty much everybody. Um, Unless I was just really bad about it. But anyway, hi, I'm Dan. Um, you should definitely check out his channel. It's just Dexter J. Manning. Um, and uh, you can see uh, him working on it there. So, yeah, that, this reminded me of that. Because I literally started working on uh, Platypatron around when I started playing this. So it was like, oh, holy shit, that's kind of a visual novel thing. It's funny. Um, so, yeah, hi, I'm Dan. Um, but yeah, how are y'all doing? How are y'all? Now that we've played, hold on. We're not going to wrap it up like immediately. Let's just hang out for a second. Let's hang out for a minute. I haven't um, had a good chat with y'all in a little bit. Um, since I've been, uh, you know, avoiding the chat for all that stuff. So I see y'all though. Kaz, uh, Mage Blackstone, Gamer Rat. Some new people in here that I haven't really seen too regular in the chat. Nice seeing y'all. Boss Life X, always nice seeing ya. 
Comes with Poop Marshall. Obviously, all the people who are in here. Bebop, how you doing, Bebop? Jgaz, Mom, how you doing? It's nice seeing y'all in the chat. Hell yeah. An Extant Dread, always. I uh, managed to watch it all with the VOD from last time around. It was fun. Oh, hell yeah. Nice, nice. Uh, thanks for streaming. It was fun, if weird. Yeah, this was a this is a strange one. This was definitely interesting. Marshall, I love that that golden badge. I love y'all with the the golden badge. So many golden badge robins slash silver robins in the chat. Y'all are the effing best. Y'all, thank you so much for being so awesome and supportive. I love y'all very very much. Um, watch Alex play the entire game in one uh, go on stream. You were not expecting what happened later in the game. It got, like, I didn't know what to expect the entire time. And it was, it unfolds, like, I, I, I just, there's so many little hints early on that are, I mean, if obviously if you know it's a little bit, like, it'd be interesting to play again at some point. Um, obviously, probably not on the stream. <laughs> uh, but, uh, you know, some another time in my life. And it'd be, it'd be interesting to re re-experience that story like a, you know a movie when you know the ending um and then going back and and going through it because I, I i had so many different theories throughout i didn't know what was going on there's some stuff even worth worse than the eyes oh was yeah is there like um i'd imagine so the way i played it out like i could play it out differently and there would be different endings if there are multiple endings what ending did i get or do they all end the same it just plays out slightly differently. Monica leaves some messages for you in the game folder during the game. Oh, really? What? Oh, that's crazy. That sounds awesome. Music during Yuri's confession is a distorted version of Sayori's theme. The breathing and crying you hear in the background is Sayori crying before she hangs herself. Uh, you then proceed to hear her hanging and her neck breaking as the attempt fails. And a desperate struggle for her trying to cut the rope. Oh, holy shit. That sounds fun. Was there nothing wrong with Natsuki? Natsuki had, uh, well, I mean, nothing, she didn't, she just got deleted in the end, but I mean, her, her family was abusing her. Um, just ultimately. It was all pretty, pretty, uh, like the song that plays when Yuri confesses. It seems, yeah, it seems interesting. Like, there's, like, a lot of little things. Um, I, I really, I enjoyed the, like, you know, could, that could have been pretty boring, but I thought that was pretty interesting um throughout i didn't think it was terrible i liked the um thing uh I, i'm still by the way i'm still just staring at this this is all i'm staring at this entire time we're talking so you know that's a thing um the rg is really neat yeah I, I, I'd, I'd imagine um but yeah i wouldn't mind doing more kind of visual novel style stuff in the future i i, I don't really do these at all um, but that was fun. Obviously, this one got a little fucked up. But, uh, maybe if there were some other, like, funny ones or something like that, or ones that would be just fun to do, that, that could be good. Um, will you play the next Rocksteady game? Hell yes! They're one of my favorite developers, uh, because of the Batman series, so, um, uh, yeah, definitely. Um, whatever they put out, I will play. Um, I m met Sefton Hill once, very briefly. Uh, I, he was just, he had just spoken on stage at an e E3 thing, and then he was just standing on the side watching the next person afterwards, like, standing, like, he was, he, he went, like, into the crowd afterwards, um, after they were done with the, the playtime thing they were doing, um, with Arkham Knight, and then, um, because it was before Arkham Knight came out, and I was so excited for Arkham Knight, and, uh, I ended up grabbing a picture with him, a really blurry selfie, because I was so nervous, um, but you just telling him in the, the, um, one of the head programmers who was, was just playing on stage, I was just like, you know, mad respect for you guys. I, I respect you guys so much, and, you know, thank you for making amazing games. Because um, that's awesome, what they do. Anyway, hi, I'm Dan. Get rid of it, Dan. It's still there forever. Anyway. Nice desktop? Yeah, let me hit F11 real quick. There you go. I just took a screen cap. Yay. Um, if you want... Uh, I gotcha. Guess it right when the with the black text being Monica. Well, it seemed like somebody was rewriting it and she wasn't getting, like, she kept saying, like, I don't know, there were, there were lots of little hints and stuff like that throughout. Um, that made me think, oh, God, that, that she was doing something, that she was manipulating it. Especially, like, I mean, the biggest one, the biggest and most obvious clue was the, the um, Natsuki thing. When Natsuki came back and the whole thing was, what if it's, I don't think it's going to be a Superman game. 
I, re I don't even think it's... I mean, well, didn't um, Warner Brothers Interactive bought up uh, Rocksteady? I'd imagine they might be working on something original. But if it w ended up being a superhero thing, I don't know. I hope it's original. I hope it's something they they just want to do. Um, obviously, it, you know, it might be a superhero thing they want to do. Um, but everybody's been talking about Superman. I feel like everybody's just going to be, like, disappointed when they actually announce... I, I think if... I don't know. I don't think it's going to be Superman. Um, but that's just me. Um, oh shit. Cosmic poop. I'm down. All right. So yeah, I thought it was good. And the cosmic poop. Um, I would love to play more visual novel games after playing that. Um, cause I haven't really played too many. I've played, I remember we did, uh, the senpai Feld, the Seinfeld, like, um, game on the hub a long time ago. And then we did, we did Nico Para a long time ago, but then that didn't, uh, end up, like, uh, the, the footage for it was fucked up, so we never ended up putting that out on the hub. So, um, I'd love to do more, uh, here in the future and all that stuff. It's still broken, what happened? Can only train so often. Wait, what happened? You can only train so often, I mean, uh, my meager Robin, or my eager Robin, uh, you'll be good for another scrimmage with Dylan Robbins in negative 51 minutes and 32 seconds. 51 minutes? Shouldn't be that much. How'd that happen? It's a 20 minute cooldown. That's weird. Hmm. I don't know why it's doing that. Welp. It's asking you to wait negative 51 minutes. Not 51, but negative 51. <laughs> you must go back in time. Anyway, all right, everybody. Um, thanks for coming out. Uh, be sure to follow if you haven't followed before. Uh, we'll be doing another stream on Wednesday. Um, I'm sure I'll be working out, and then afterwards we can um, probably play some uh, Switch games with Liz if she's down. Um, and then maybe go transition into her stream or whatever she wants to do she's streaming so yeah and yeah unswitch what is that i didn't see what you had put it looked like garbledy good though um and stuff oh you're doing the delete thing i'm sorry it was the it was the dots in your your thing that made it think it was a link but you were just being clever don't worry about it uh, it just deleted your thing because it thought it was a link. All right, so I think we should raid somebody, as I've been trying to do recently. Um, let's find somebody playing Batman, unless that we have a uh, friend online, which I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, let's find somebody playing Batman Arkham Knight. I want to watch a little bit of Arkham Knight. Let's see. There's Batman no commentary. All right. There aren't that many people playing Arkham Knight right now. Somebody do a new game plus. Let's see here. Well, let's see how this goes. Let's raid this person playing some Arkham Knight all right uh, so when we go in here you got to do uh, bat dance raid that's what you got to say so either bat dance raid you can you can pull out the emotes if you want uh, uh, yeah that works <laughs> whatever you want to do uh, so yep we're gonna end the stream here we're gonna raid this person I'm gonna hang out watch some uh, of them play some uh, Arkham Knight I love y'all. Thank you for coming out. Uh, thank you for being the best. Um, more streams uh, where I actually read the chat coming soon. Um, sorry that, uh, uh, you know, with this spoiler heavy, heavy stuff that we didn't get it going on. So we're going to do the raid. Love y'all. Thanks for uh, coming along and see y'all later. Bye.